First and foremost, we give all praise to Yahweh, 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 all right, so we're going to start with the article? Yes. All right, go ahead. Yeah, last week we talked about this, um, so, um, the, the Silicon Valley banks. This time, oh, the about, banks, the yeah, banks. Now, now it's more banks that's getting shut down. And that's from the, um, the, the newsquake.com. And the headline said this, more than 186 U.S. bank well positioned for collapse. Listen, we, we, listen, we understand what's going on here. This isn't just some, you know, uh, spook, spooky thing that What's happening? This is this is what this is what's called for. Right. Esau has has already counted the cost many years ago, leading up to this, this these days where we're living in, where things are going to start to collapse. They have to collapse. It. There's no way they can introduce that new method of currency without getting rid of the old currency. So it has to be collapsed, man. But we're not worried about that. We're not in, in, in fear of that. You know, we welcome it. Why do we welcome it? Because we know we're that much closer to getting the hell out of here, man. But behold, there's going to be some some terrible times that are coming, man. That's right. Go ahead. He says the perfect mix of of losses, uninsured leverage, and an extensive loan portfolio, among other factors, resulted in the fall of Silicon Valley banks. Comparing Silicon Valley Valley bank situation with other players, we feel that nearly 190 banks operating in the United States or are potentially at risk of a one. They're all at risk if you want to call it a risk they're all at risk because again you're 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 settling on your leaves because you're hearing these people who have um who have a stake in some of these banks when they start hitting home then you're going to start realizing then you're going to seek out the profits then you want to ask questions what's going on why is this happening all right and we're going to continue to tell you until it, until it implodes on itself and esau is going to make it implode on itself you guys think that this government is, is for you. This government is not for you, man. This government is, is totally against you and everything you believe in. How, how is it that here, uh, United States of America, is now talking about the, the, the banking system collapsing on itself? That should be unheard of. These other countries hear shit like this, they're like, that's, that, that's impossible. How can that be? America's the so-called greatest country in the world. How can the greatest country in the world have, have a, a be on thin ice, if you will? Because it's all bullshit. It's all set up, man. America's going to fall by the sword at the end of the day. All right? And these things and these measures that are being taken right now are being taken for good reason. All right, go ahead. This is our second... Hey, if any brothers got anything you want to speak up, yeah, yeah, let's fire it off. Come on, come on. This is our second Ezra 6 and 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. Right, you know what? Because, we're listen, in 2008 when that small collapse happened, there was people going to the bank. There was, I mean, it was total chaos, man. Trying to draw their money out. It was, it was, it was, it was a mini chaotic situation. But now that it's happening on a, on a grand scale, there's not going to be there's not going to be any any uh, understanding in a man when that time comes. Okay, so the sown places which you see right now is sown because you look around, people are walking about, visiting different monuments, and having a good time and enjoying the summer breeze, the, the winter breeze coming through. But when this place becomes unsown, you ain't gonna see a soul in these parks out here, man. Because people are gonna be out for blood when that time comes. That's right. Go ahead. Uh, the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. You know, and, and those, uh, and I'll say this, in this carnal world, those who are somewhat wise, they're already preparing, man. They've been stocking up on food. They've been stocking up on, on goods. Because they understand and they see and read between the lines that America is going down, man. That's right, man. It's going to be a big shift. It's going to be a big change within the next couple months. How you buy things, how you see things, how you perceive things, how you get things. Some people are going to get it by the fact that they're going to receive that that uh, MOTB. Mm -hmm. Some people want to get it by taking somebody's life. All right. But at the end of the day, something's going to be obtained by somebody somewhere or another. 
See? That's right. Real quick. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, right. not as fools, but as wise, That's right. redeeming the time because the days are evil. Right, walking circumspectly, knowing what's going on around you at all times, which is imperative, man. It's, it's imperative that you understand and know what you're getting into. And what, and even to just, just not even taking it from a standpoint of buying shit or obtaining goods, just where you're walking, just where you're going. Because niggas are going to be lurking in the shadows out here, man. Right? But this is all part of prophecy. You see? This is part of prophecy. You know? And you know, you got these guys out here, all these guys with all these, you know, different YouTube channels, and they're having a grand old time, you know, on, on the on the backs of the, the brothers who are out on the highways and byways and teaching, and they're talking enough shit. Well, pretty soon your platform's gonna be gone. Alright? And when your platform goes, then you have nothing. But we of the hope for the elect, we got Yahweh Bash Meow Shai to guide us and protect us and watch over us. So we're going to come out as men of the Lord and give you exactly what you've been looking for. Go ahead. I got you. Second Ezra 15 and 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Yep. For the sword and their destruction draw from mine. Right. Nobody's going to believe it until it comes to their front door, man. There was a video, there was a movie called At Your Door. Where all hell was breaking loose and it was coming right to people's door, man. Even though you weren't a part of that 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 section or whatever, but the trouble came right to your door because you couldn't leave your house. That's right. If you if you can't leave your house, that means the trouble is at your door. When somebody's on the other end of your door knocking and, and banging like a fucking madman, you ain't opening the door. <laughs> Likewise, when it comes time to leave out your house, what you gonna do? You gonna go to the window first, look out the window, and see what's going on out there. Let you see a dead body in front of your driveway, in front of your door, your building. You gonna open that, you ain't opening that goddamn door. So these things are coming right to your doorstep and you don't even realize it, man. You people have no idea what you're in for. Go ahead. And one people shall stand up and fight against another yep. and swords in their hands. Those race riots, those race riots are, are, are on the horizon. Now the brothers was telling me about a man who was in Texas or oh, Mississippi. Mississippi. You know, I, didn't, I didn't catch the article yet, but I guess a man got decapitated and his head peeled off and body parts strewn all over the place. Again, these are some of the, pre, the, the pre, precursors that are going to that are going to eventually lead to the the, the the racial wars, the insurrection of people, you know, right? The division of people. These things must needs be done because how else are you going to get the, the children of Israel started, if you will? How else are you going to rise them up, man? Let a, let a few more black people get killed to the point where people are gonna be like, yo, fuck that. We going after these white people. We going after whomever they may feel they need may need to go after, man. So it's no surprise what's going on, man. We're not looking at these things. We read these articles and see these different moves, uh, news clippings and, 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 and look at it and hear what's happening. They ain't surprised that they got his head cut off. That's what's going to happen. These are the things that have to take place, man. These are the things that's going to rile the people up. What else is going to rile people? You can't say, oh, yeah. You, you know, let's say a bunch of crackers uh, uh, making a, a, a record down in rap music. That's not gonna rile people up. You've got to get down to the meat and potatoes if you wanna get some people stirred up, man. And how you do that? Start killing motherfuckers. When you start killing motherfuckers, then people are gonna start, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? You see? All right, hold, hold on, go ahead. Elder, to back you up, when you read the comments, you have people bringing up the whole Emmett Till mm -hmm. spirit That's once right. again, and they're saying that men with guns should go down to Mississippi and the whole town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, once again, the carnal men are going to do such things. Right. Don't don't think that you ain't going to have these things happening. Right. You're going to have a whole bunch of niggas rising up, marching down in different locations with guns and having a gunfight. All right? But the wise in the Lord are going to let that be, man. We ain't going to get caught up as we always have been. We've always have been, you know, on on the on the back side of things, if you will. While all these people are protesting, marching, you got you got uh, the, the the men of the purple and gold, uh, for, you know, group there. Every time a nigga gets shot, they rallying up and, and doing all this, you know. And, and the mothers in the middle talking, my baby, you ain't, you you men aren't going to do anything that's going to change the outcome of what the Lord put in place, man. If a nigga get killed in the street, whether he be 18 or 28 or 38 or 48, or however old he is, if he gets killed in the street, then that's what the purpose was for him to be brought up in the world, to be raised up, to be killed in, the, in that street in that day, man. This is the Lord's program. So we ain't going to start crying tears 
over how many black people get mowed down by the police. We ain't gonna cry tears how many black people get hung and lynched and dragged by the back of a goddamn Ford F-150 pickup truck down in Texas or Mississippi. This shit's been going on for years. What makes it any different now in this day and age? It ain't no different, you see? But you gotta be circumspect. You gotta know what's going on around you. You can't put yourself in a position where you're gonna sit there and these crackers are surrounding you and shit on a daily basis. Get the hell out of Dodge, man. It don't, yo, listen, man. It don't make you any less of a man if you gotta flee. The Lord had to flee in some cases, man. So oh, shit, birth. get the At hell out. Birth, right. had to flee. Get the hell out of Dodge, man. You see these crackers assembling with all kinds of Confederate flags. Yeah, nigga. Get the hell out of Dodge. All right, see y'all later. You it's know, a, it's a such thing as the sun downtown too. Mm -hmm. I just finished uh, watching the video that one of the brothers have put up. But this guy, this guy, the uh, Jake, got his ass whooped in one of them sun downtowns. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, don't come to these places, man. Be real. Yeah, that's been around since uh, yeah. what's that? The sixties, mm -hmm. late sixties. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, you want to test this place? Yeah. <laughs> Talking about Black Lives Matter. That shit don't man. That's a, that, that, that shit got niggas. Book, like, that that, that shit got niggas twisted up, man. Everything. That whole Black Lives oh, Matter man. thing got niggas twisted up. You thinking you can walk around invisible? Yeah. You know what a what a, <laughs> a, a what a BLM on your chest. That shit don't matter, man. Nope. Time is coming where there's gonna be bloodshed. It's gonna be the bloodshed of the children of Israel because the scriptures speak about a time of Jacob's trouble. That's right. All right, let's go. Yes, sir. If, if I can say something, good, elder. Uh, this is why it's important to know who your enemies are. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was thinking about this earlier. Uh, I was thinking about uh, an analogy I used to use. Uh, how you see, uh, you know, you, 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 you're here, we're here in a park, right? You'll see, a, you know, a group of squirrels together. You might see a group of pigeons together, but you never see them congregated with one another. Right. And it's the same thing. You, know, you can you can use it. You can use the example of they're all animals, so they should be together. For example. There, there's different strokes for different folk, different worlds. Of that's, it, that's it. Yep. Yep. And same thing with with people. We're we're a different nation than they are. Our nation does things differently than them. And the the, the whole integration mentality is what's is what's ruining people, man. You you saying your, your black life matters? It's not going to matter to your enemy. That's the last person your your life matters to is your enemy. Your life matters to the people that are are of your stock. And that's who you should be worried about. You should be worried about your own people. Trying to trying to say that you matter to someone who is your arch nemesis. It's, it's like it's like you, you look at Batman and Joker. You, they don't they, they imagine they had kids and they no, they, them two can't go together. Yeah. Them two can't go together. He is our arch ne nemesis. When you watch that movie, uh, I think the movie is uh, Broken or Glass. I think it's called. Yeah, glass. It's you said called you Glass. Um, um, Samuel L. Jackson's character broke that down. It's like, look, we are we are exact opposites. We are up. We can't. We cannot. We can. We'll never join together. I am your nemesis, and it's true, man. They are our arch nemesis. They were created just just to be our nemesis. We can't expect to to matter to them. They, they're our enemies. Well, well, uh, Luke, uh, Luke um, what, uh, of the, the parable of Lazarus and rich man, he said between us there's a break. Oh, there's a break. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We'll say it. We'll say it. Yeah. 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 That's something real quick. Uh -huh. yeah. Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thy enemy, for like as I am wrestling, so is his wickedness. A lot of people are putting their trust in these devils, man. You're putting your trust in them. And on top of that, you're also putting your trust in our own people. Because our own people become our enemies, man. Those who are in cahoots and, and that are living by this system, you know, you got people, you got black people who are protesting the, 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 the stance that we take, man. You got black people who are against what we believe in, you know? Again, it's going to be enemies from all angles. Watch out for that. Enemies from all angles coming in at us, man. And as the elder was getting into and the brothers have been talking about, Jacob and Esau, we've been, we've been fighting since the war. Maccabees fighting so vehemently. It wasn't just about. It, 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 it was. It was. It was about. Obviously, uh, it, it, the story makes it apparent. It was about um, the, the Maccabees brothers' disdain for the people being so willing to, to go to the other nations and be a part of what they have going on. Right? But, but just just to, just to think like the, the assimilation that they were doing in those times. When you 
think about when you think about the black Greeks, right? When you have uh, all these fraternities that they have in colleges, that came from Israelite people. Those those people back there that were being called Greeks in those times, or a lot of them were Israelites, man. And there was a lot of that was assimilating into what our enemies were doing, and in, in, in their behavior and being so proud about uh, uh, being a part of it. When you go in the Maccabees and you read that, those were Israelites that was making them the gymnasium. Esau, they was they was you know uh, fruit cups, but they was doing it in their own in their own way. You had our own people making those gymnasiums to be a part of that that lifestyle. Man. You know, so it, it's always happened. It's always happened where you got people trying to assimilate with their enemy. You have to know who your enemy is. That's that's important. That's the first. We we, we are uh, as it says uh, behind enemy lines. Man. We're behind enemy lines, and you gotta, you have to operate within it, right? We have to, we have to work. We have to pay our bills. You, you, some people might, you know, you know, you get your what they call it, uh, it's tax season, right? So you gotta, you gotta file for your taxes and all of those things. So we live within uh, being behind these enemy lines, but you gotta know Esau is your enemy, man. He is not your friend. And just like that scripture that brother read, as soon as he has an opportunity to to uh, to show that he's your enemy, he's gonna do it, man. He's going to do it. There's no there's no mistake in it. You can look at them. And like I had this one dude I used to work with my, my whole job. He, uh, he, he, he oh, I can't stand. I can't. That, I just talk just like that. I can't stand uh, black people. I can't stand them. He talked just like that, man. And you, you look at him. He's cool. He was a cool dude. And the reason why you could, you could be in front of him is honest. You don't know. You don't have to guess about what he has going on. So you can look at him and see. But there's other Edomites that he would pull aside and they'd be having their own car. You knew what they was talking about when they was off to the side, but those other Edomites were different, right? And you were just, you were waiting for the opportunity. You were waiting, not the opportunity. You were waiting for the time where they were going to show their ass. Those are our enemies, you know? You got some? Yeah, first Maccabees. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, first Maccabees chapter 1, verse 25. Yep. Therefore, there was a great mourning in Israel yep. in every place. Uh, where they were, so that the princes and the elders mourned the virgins and the young men were feeble, and the beauty of the woman was changed. Every bridegroom took up limitation, and she that sat in the marriage yes. chambers was in heaviness. Yeah, so it was a, it was a it was a bad time our nation was going through. Uh, you know, the Lord, the Lord, this was really the I can't say the start. But this is when the Lord turned His back on us. on obviously but his four generals kept that going man and then you had uh this guy uh, antiochus which i if i'm not mistaken came from the, the solution line he, he perpetuated that thing to a, to a, to a, its extreme man so we were we were we were in hell in these times our nation work was in hell in these times you think about uh you think about uh uh the so-called transatlantic slave trade american slavery this this rivals that man that those, those times that we Slew him on the altar right there on the spot, man. Because our people at this time, when all hell starts breaking loose, they're going to have one one solution. Do exactly what Esau says, and that way you won't have that heaviness upon you, man. Yeah. But when the Lord sets us up, and we see niggas doing some shit like that. Yeah. We have to, we have to do what we got to do, man. You know, it's a saying that they got in Babylon the Great. Do as the Romans. Yeah, we did wrong. Do as the Romans do. Yeah. 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 But but we have examples of escape from that. We have examples of escape from that in, in, in uh, Joseph, right? And who, who, who said it? Esther. Esther, right? Uh, Mordecai, right? You have you have examples of how to behave yourself behind enemy lines. You don't have to assimilate to what they do in order to, to be successful. Because the real success 
comes from your hour bus and your shirt. But let's keep going. Maccabees, too. Huh? Maccabees, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are, those are all examples of how to behave yourself when you're behind enemy lines. When you're at your lowest, the the, the best thing to do is to depend on the Heavenly Father. Don't don't go, you know, assimilate to what the enemies is doing. This is this is where the old saying, death before dishonor, that's what you take, man. The, and the Maccabees brothers are, are, are perfect examples of that. We have the, the story of those seven brothers in uh, Second Maccabees. You know, if, you know, if the Lord permits, we'll get to that. But you, you take death before you take this on. Yeah, it, that was the spirit. That's why I brought it. Because um, I was thinking about how even when the king was killing off all the sons, and he was asking the mom, like, yo, just tell your son to agree. He'll yep. be a friend. Yep. Right. And then he still yep. got, died honorably. Yeah. Right? And what, what's, what's impressive about that, right? When you, think about a, when you think about a mother... About a mother, a mother is uh, she's always concerned about her child's well being, and she raises the child in a way where if if the child is out of her care, that he'll be okay. I can I can make sure that he's going to be all right. And really, mothers, when I mean, you I read this book years ago when I was in high school, but it talked about how when when the buck would get killed in slavery, the big strong uh, so-called black man would get killed in slavery. The mothers would see that and raise their sons to not be like the buck. So when you look at a story like you know, that, those seven brothers and their mother, you know, telling them no, you can go and die manfully. That's a powerful story because mothers are mothers are the main ones that make their sons uh, uh, capitulate to what their enemy is doing. So that's a powerful story, man. You know, keep going, Salaki, so brother. Uh, this is back in first, uh, first Matthew 1 and 28. Oh, yeah, the yeah, land yeah. also yeah. was moved with the inhabitants there, and all the house of Jacob was covered with confusion. Yeah. And after two years fully expired, the king sent his chief collector of tribute yeah. unto the cities of Judea. This, this, is, this is what Esau does, right? We know this. When, when Esau goes in, and he, uh, this brother was, this brother of the world was telling us uh, some history about Haiti. After after he uh, he uh, he went in there and uh, put a uh, got a hold and a grasp on that rice, and they went down and out. They started getting poor. What did Esau do? He went down in there. Same thing the Antiochus did here. After two years expired, that's when all them Greeks started going in there. They started taking our land. They started taking our riches. Like when you when you think of when you think of uh, the temple in that time. The temple was not only a place where you go and pray and sacrifice, but it was also the bank, right? That's where a lot of the riches and gold and, and the silver. Type, the type was that's right. That's right. So it was also the bank of Israel. You can you can call it. But and if I may add, though, the Book of Torah tells you how it was a basically a bank for like the uh, the fatherless the children yep, and the yep, widows. The widows. As well. yep, and yep. Um, he had gave his riches after he yep, had died too. Yep. That's it. That's it. Keep going, bro. Yep. Uh, after two years. And after two years fully expired, the king sent his chief collector of tribute unto the cities of Judea, who came unto Jerusalem with a great multitude. Yep. And they spake peaceable words unto them, yep. but all was deceived. Yep. For they, uh, for right. when then they had they, given they, them... Esau recently went down to Haiti, talking about, <laughs> talking about they was down there to give aid. No, they was down there to take. That's right. They speak, right. they speak peaceably. The scriptures tell us about that in Psalms. If somebody can go to... What's that, uh, so Psalms? Is it 51? I, I still got it in Ecclesiastes is what I was reading earlier. Yep, yep, we can get all of them. We can get all We got time. Okay. You want that real quick? Um, Yeah, sure. Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Yep. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 16. Yep. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, yeah, but so. in his heart he imagined how to throw thee into that, the that's pit. That's it, man. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> Hey, come on, buddy. You know? Yeah, next thing next thing you know, he's in your backyard. You know? Your backyard. Yeah. <laughs> you bet your, your house. <laughs> yeah. You wake up in the morning, you saw downstairs eating your cornflakes. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psalm 55 and 21. That's it, that's it. The words of his mouth were sweeter than butter. That's it. The war was in his heart. The war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yep. yet were they drawn forth. Right, so we know this about Esau, man. So when you man, typical. So when you when you hear this about uh, what they did, the Greeks, of course they went in with sp speaking peaceable words. Right? Esau doesn't know any other way. Esau is uh, Alexander was the first eat of his kind. Because Alexander was like, look, I'm trying to take over. And I'm going to do it by any means necessary. 
But when you have Edom, what they did was they went, they went, and they kind of worked their way through history secretly, kind of make their way up in, like Haman did, make his way up into the ranks, and then they 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 they, they take over, right? And so this is what the Edomites do, man. They go in there. Hey, how's it going, sir? Are you all right? You need, you need a couple of dollars? Like, yeah, I can use a couple of dollars. You get hungry. At first, you say no. Fuck this nigga want, man. <laughs> right? At first, and then you get, get a little hungry. You say, you know what? I should have took that, 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 that $2 that he's always getting ready to give you. And then he got your ass, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. So like, yeah. Yeah, 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 Salah, yeah. You got something too? Yeah, yeah, just to back in Psalms 55 and 11. Mm -hmm. It says, Wickedness is in the midst thereof. Deceit and guile depart not from her streets. Yes, For if it was not an enemy that reproached me, then I could have borne it. Neither was it he that hated me that did magnify himself against me, then I would have hid myself from him. See? And so, and so this is why it's important, especially today, where we, we're so far removed from biblical history, we're so far removed from our heritage. For so-called uh, black people, so-called Hispanic people, uh, so-called uh, native people here in the Americas to understand who our enemy is, man. Go, go ahead, bro. Oh, this is Habakkuk 2 and 5. Yeah, also, because he transgressed by wine, yep. he is a proud man. That's it. Neither keep it at home, yep. who enlarges his desire as hell, yep. and is at, and, and is as yeah, death, and cannot be satisfied. And cannot be satisfied. Now I made the mistake. I went into this uh, this little uh, corner store. I was trying to find a um, you know those, those incense holders. Mm -hmm. So I went. So, yeah. So I went in there, and um, and Elam. It's a it's an Elamite store. And I went in there. Oh hey, y'all y'all doing in here? He was looking at me just like this. Yeah. And I was so I was so mad at myself. Cause I, I know better, but I went in there all you know, hey, how's it going, man? All happy, but he but he kept his uh, he stayed on his square, you know. That we we are different nations. We're not brothers. We're not friends. Mm -hmm. And I was so mad at myself for, for allowing that to happen, man. But you, the mother nations, they they keep they they keep he looking. Who the silly guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silly guy. Yeah, hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. I was so I got in that car, man. I was like, God damn it! I let that motherfucker get the best of me, man. I was so mad at myself for that, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, hurry up and buy. Hundred percent. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you walked out. Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. I was mad, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right, um, this is back in first back in music. Um, and spoke peaceable words unto them, but it was all deceit. For when he had given them uh, credence, he fell suddenly upon the city and smote it very sore. Yep. And and destroyed much of a uh, much people in Israel. And when he had taken the spoils of the city, he set it on fire and pulled down the houses. See, when, he the get walls. He, when he get everything he need. Destroys everything else, man. Yeah. Destroys everything else, and this is that you have to know these things. Yeah. If you, if you are, if you are, especially today, again, like I said, being so far removed from our history, we don't even know who's who, man. Yeah. We don't know who's who. If I may add, there's, yep. a, there's an old thing in the world that said, uh, if, if, if you don't learn from history, you're bound to be beaten. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know? If you you look at this man's track record and you don't see that it's he's a he's a, a repeat. Jake's out here talking about we need to build this and build that. Again, Tulsa, Oklahoma right. says it all. Yeah, it all. that's a great, that's a great point. Yeah. You decide you want to get your own community and build this. And these devils are going, this is, the, the scripture says, the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. This is all their shit. They own all this. They're going to let you build, so the they're, they're gonna let you build it, but you have to pay every ounce of tax and tribute to them devils. It let you start to get bigger and better than them devils. Right. That's yeah. when it's gonna get burnt down, man. That, that was the importance for them taking away our, our heritage, right? Like, remove, removing us from the scriptures yeah. because the, the scriptures gives us all that. It, it right. gives us the history book that we know that is ours. A lot of a lot of the average so-called blacks in America, they think their history goes back to the 1600s. They don't trace the history back to Kemet. Yeah, yeah, Kemet or, or it's all it's all recent. They don't understand how of uh, ancient people are, but just not just that the, the stories. The, the beefs that we have between these certain nations and how that all ties it today. Yeah. But it only goes as far back as is uh, uh, Martin Luther King, right. for example, right. right? You got you got the month of February called Black History Month. You got Black History Month. Ain't not a damn one of anybody go back to the scriptures or the Bible saying that these great men of the Bible 
They don't, they don't even include the Bible in Black History Month mm -hmm. because that's not your people according to Esau in this country in the system. But you got, what's that? Uh, uh, what's that? What's the, dude, the, the, the guy who did peanut butter. George Washington Chicago. They'll give you, they'll oh, give you every student, man. <laughs> 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 you know, but again, they, they go back to certain, you know, 19, you know, 40s, maybe coming up. But other than that, yeah, you don't yeah. see nothing about yeah, black yeah, history, yeah. man. And that's, and that's another bullshit, you know, month anyway. That's like taking away a lot of our power, man. A lot of our faith. Because you read those stories of King David jumping on the wall and stuff like that. How is the Heavenly Father supposed to deal with you on that level if you can't even believe? Oh, that's so you got guys that, you got guys, like, you know what I mean? Imagine all hell breaking loose and it's not even a big wall like King David, but just, you know, a, 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 a fence, like a good fence. Like, a six that, foot fence. That, yeah, that man, that day, man, you, 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 just your, the allowance of you allowing that to get inside you. You, you jumping over that six foot fence. It's not a problem, it's not a big issue. But if you don't believe in these things, and, and the scriptures, and in the stories, and the people that depending on your Howard Shai, yeah. if you don't, uh, depending on the Lord, if you don't believe it, like, what are you to do? You have nothing to, you have nothing to grasp, you have nothing to, you're not rooted in anything, you have no understanding. I, I, I've given you these earthly things, right? You didn't understand them, how would you understand the spiritual, spiritual things? things. Right. It's in the same vein. How can you, how can you expect the Lord to deal with you on a spiritual level? You can't even understand what right. the scriptures are saying. You don't even believe. So yeah, you don't even allow yeah, that to yes. enter into your mind, your yeah, temple. Yeah, you don't point. give it space for anything. You know? And going back to the faith aspect, is like our people don't even realize, like, like you talk about, like who we are. Like when you try to tell them, like who we are and things like that. Even when it comes to something simple, like when you go into the black inventors, they people, our people be like, "What we made that?" Yeah. Because yeah, like the yeah, demand, yeah, like yeah. they gave us an yeah. inferiority yeah. complex, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 And another thing Esau does is he'll say like, "This person was the first such yeah. and such, mm -hmm. the first black person." Mm -hmm. You know how degrading it is for. Yeah these people to tell you that this man was the first person to do such a thing and this is the 1600s mm -hmm. or, or he had this one guy that was like oh he came up to the camp he was like oh you're portuguese oh, i think it was at work i was at work he was uh because where we work at uh down the south coast is a bunch of portuguese he was like oh yeah i was here and at work whatever it was he was like oh portuguese are the first navigators i was sitting there scratching my head like what the hell was noah before, before you <laughs> devils exactly. even left Europe, yeah. oh, Noah was on a right. boat navigating <laughs> the dogs right. in, you know what I'm saying? So right. you, you try to, they try to take their history and make it everything, right, and right. Just, they just want you to forget about right. the past, like we wasn't on boats, no. traveling back and forth before you devils was here. God was here already. How they got and discover um, the, 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 the U.S., the whole continental U.S. They came right. over. Right. Mm. Well, well, when you're on an island, yep. you got yep. to the island yep. somehow. somehow. You know what I'm saying? So the, yeah. the, the, the so what you would call the Tainos or the Awanox, yeah. they wasn't just on those islands just stranded yeah. stuff. You know, they were traveling doing trade amongst, you know, their their, their people, man. But but Esau have you believe that yeah. the history starts from there. I went Greece. to Renaissance school. Yeah. The history started from Esau, man. Yeah. Everybody else was just porch yeah. monkeys in and in, in, in the fucking jungle. Whether it was Gad or, or, or him or everybody was just in a jungle uh -huh. and Esau had this elaborate life yeah. over in Europe and had to come bring civilization right. to, the to everybody, hey, to the world. Me, I, I had a like a, a little a like show. a little chat with um this this Edomite. So he, he was very proud about saying, Yeah, what is black culture? And I said, I said, I don't know, you tell me. He's like, Well, you know, because I, I, that's a very good question. You know what I'm saying? He's like, well, I said, Well, well let, let's start with white culture. What is, what is white culture? He's like, uh, he's like, oh, you know, we we're one of the greatest people. I say, yeah. <laughs> I say, I say, I say, yeah. You mean white culture? You rob, you steal, you rob continents, you do this, and you know, he started getting all kind of mad. I said, I'm just saying the truth. If you want to tell me black culture right now to shoot him up, gang, gang, I have to agree with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. for for the time being, yeah. for the time being, right? Yeah. Because but but the main perpetrators of that, who 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 started that was well, you. Was you. Was you. We were, you. Cra we were crabs in the, in the barrel. Yeah. But the question is, why the fuck are the crabs doing it? What in the, the barrel, crabs right? doing yeah. the barrel yeah. in the first place? Yeah. Who put them in You're an the environment the for master. them to fail? Yeah. For yeah. them to step on each other? Yeah. You know, Esau set this up. But go ahead, brother. This is Isaiah one and six. It says, from the sole of the foot, even onto the head, there is no sound. Well, you gotta start, you gotta, you might as well, 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 you
This is Isaiah 1 and 6, I mean 1 and 1. 1 and 1. Yeah. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Oz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, hear, O heavens, and give it, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken, I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doeth not know, my people do not consider. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Yeah, like, yeah. Once you know that, damn, I'm a, we, Elder was talking about this last week, like, damn, I'm a... I'm a Yashala. I'm a son of I'm a, I'm a son of Jacob. You know, I, I can do this. You know, I'm from the tribe of Levi, from the tribe of Ephraim, or whatever. I can do this. It gives you more um, confidence. It gives you more faith. It gives you a higher ability. Your ceiling is high because what they do in Babylon is they make your ceiling low. They give you an artificial ceiling, and, and you and you can't. Uh, 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 what you strive for is is that saying? I reach for the moon for mysteries to amongst the stars. There's some truth to that. But they want you just to strive for. The bare minimum. Yeah, yeah, they put the you ceiling. They put the drop ceiling. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, the ceiling. Yeah. you got the real ceiling. You got the drop <laughs> right. ceiling. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Even to add on to your point, Jacob wrestled an angel. You right. know, right. so hey, right. man, that's power uh, that's there that that's our people don't even know right. that we have. Right. right. Yeah. Yashar is the prince of power. Yep. Yeah, Jacob's name was turned to Israel. Yep. But our sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, yep. a seed of evil doers. Well, we, hey, we was talking about that movie Juice, when he was like, um, he just basically was like, Tupac was like, I ain't shit. I ain't never gonna be shit. Yep. Right. And his whole mentality was, was like, you ain't gonna be yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, I said once I decided, how you get to keep the gun? I got it. But that's the whole. That's Jacob's mentality, man. Yeah. They don't understand. That black coach, cop, bad boys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 boys in the hood, just all these, just being pumped full of right. negative energy, propaganda. you know, propaganda. You start to believe it, man. After yeah. a while, you just start to believe it. But, bro, Children that are corrupted, they have forsaken the Lord. Yeah. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel. And corruption goes back to iniquity, which is basically a sin. The original corruption is just breaking the law, just, to, just sinners, you know? They've corrupted to the point where they think that sinning is the way. Yeah. So selling drugs to your people, yeah, that guy China Mac, right? Yeah. He did the interview and he said, you know, I wasn't selling drugs to uh, to my people. Yeah. You know, I'll go to the hoods and stuff like that. See, it was okay for him to go to our community, quote unquote, and sell drugs. But he he understood that that wasn't the right thing to do in his community. But this this is the mind frame of our people. It's, our people think that it's cool to sell drugs, I'm a, I'm a drug dealer, I'm a gangbanger, I'm a killer, I'm a robber, but you're doing that to your own nation. You're corny and you don't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you made that cool, you know? But other nations, like you, like you said, Elder, when you walk in the store, he, that healer might knew there was a difference. They don't give a fuck about no skin color. They'll be as darker than your ass, you know? They don't care. Once you walk in that store, you feel that tension, that vibe is there. They hate us, they hate us. And, and once you don't know that, you let your guard down, you're confused. And when you look at Jake, Jake is confused out here. Everybody knows it's a team. Everybody know that, look, these are my people. I stick with my people. I help my people, right? If I get a store, I'm going to hire my people because I'm going to feed my people, right? But our, our people, we've shunned away from that. And we were the main nation that, that operated like that. Yeah. that. The laws is what separated us from everybody else. Yeah. Us, our togetherness, our brotherhood. That's why they always hated us. They always hated us just because of that. One of Israel unto anger, they are all are going away backwards. Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head all, is sick. They all deal with this. They all, Yashar, the relationship of Yash between Yashar and the Heavenly Father is one of, you know, you with your children. Like a, what's it called, a microcosm? Or just something small. Everything in the universe is something small that starts with atoms and neutrons and it just expands to something. But the cycle is the same cycle. The same thing. Why should you, you beat, I beat the hell out of my son? He don't listen. He's going to do the same thing over and over again. It's a time where it gets abuse. It just abuse. You just got to wait it out. That's what the Heavenly Father, he's beating the hell out of us. This is our last go around, you know? There's only yep. so much you could beat your child. You know, till it becomes pointless. Yep. Get a back here real quick from Why the common you board. Stricken anymore, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. You would revolt more. Yeah. So now you're just a bad guy. Yep. I, I start. I did something new to my son. You know what I'm saying? Which I didn't do before, and because I waited so long, you know, when I finally did it to him, I'm appearing to be the bad guy. When all actually, I should have been disciplining you like this a long time ago. But once you start to do something to them. It's like, why, why are you doing this now, you know? But 
Yeah. It's the same thing. It's the same mention, principle. Quick, um, even in the law, it says if you have a rebellious child, you basically bring him from the council, and eventually the Lord basically put him to death. So that's why the Lord is bringing judgment on people because they constantly are doing the same old, same old bullshit, and now the Lord's like, "Yo, I'm done with that." And, and, and one important thing is about that is that's in front of the congregation, so that other kids can learn uh, what not to do. You know, and put fear, you know, throughout throughout. Why is that? Why did he get stoned? What's right. He's acting up. But in this society, in this society, a, 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 a killer doesn't get put to death. A killer, you know, at first 40, he got 20, 25 years for what? Just put his ass to death. He killed somebody for a stupid reason. Why does he deserve to live? Why is he a burden on a taxpayer? You want to save money, right? Why is he a burden on a taxpayer dollar? Exactly. Just kill him. Come on, come on. It, was a, it was a video of a, a stone cold killer getting out of jail. He said, I, I got put in jail for killing two. Oh, yeah, he yeah. said that's all they know about, but he says it's gonna be more because I'm yeah. gonna kill more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, well, there's a remedy for him. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. death. They should have yeah. put him to death. Yeah. 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 And we don't gotta, we don't gotta give him health insurance in jail and pay for his bed and be free hot. You don't gotta, yeah. we gotta yeah. A parole board. You need all. You, that's all unnecessary. Yeah. yeah. All right, man, I got two from the Common War real quick, each one. This is our GMS Spiritual Art 144K, Jeremiah 4 and 22. I had that spirit. For my people is uh, foolish. They have not known me. They are sardish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Sardish is stupid. They don't know the Heavenly Father. You know the Heavenly Father by way of his love. That's, that, that's why they put these fools to death in these jails. These are the same pets they depend on when they, when they move somebody to one of these jails. That's all yeah, made yeah, through prison license, labor. Yeah, yeah. License plates all made through prison labor. Uh, uh, Conquer farms. Yeah. When y'all go to the stores, y'all see the Conquer yeah, milk yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, they, that's all, yeah. Juice, juice yeah. Conquer yeah. juice. That's all a Conquer farm up there in Conquer of the jails that they go to. So yeah. it's a free release. Yeah. So yeah. It, that's a good thing. They make it a good thing so that you go to Conquer. And they, they're happy. And you get in the system, you're happy to go to Conquer farm because you get to walk out a little bit. Yeah. You know, you get to smoke a cigarette. You get to fucking, you know. Yeah. But that's how they get set it up. You know, you're just a house nigga. You're happy to get, you're not, you know, locked up 24 hours a day. You get to roam around, you know, get a little bit extra uh, freedom. But that's how Esau sets up. Esau's a smart, he's a smart devil, man. He's a very, he's a very intelligent, smart, cunning, wise, crafty devil. And if you think that you think that he's dumb, you 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 are you're sadly mistaken. You don't understand his intellect, man. His, his, his trickery runs deep. It runs deep. And the first mistake you'll make is thinking that he's a dummy. Hey, that's how it is when you feed snakes. You know, the rat goes inside the cage. The rat is it's like while I'm in here, he's not even paying attention to the snake because he doesn't see the snake. scrap this system because if it was a brand like a business they'd be out of business because the business don't make sense don't make you sense. can't tell me that a, a homeless man that stole i don't know from a store is worth six months of you gotta you gotta you gotta clean their clothes yep. you gotta feed them you gotta pay for electricity yep. you gotta pay for dental health care you gotta pay for 
you got to pay for all that. You can't tell me that that money adds up. It doesn't. And so much that the federal government got to pay these states uh, 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 basically amounts of money for people that they lock up because they know if it was real like a business, it wouldn't make sense. What people don't realize is the child support money that they collect from people goes right to their retirement. Yeah, so mm. This is why they force, you know, we get that probate court and them judges, they force that, that, that child support. They want that child support like fucking you know, like a snake blood. wants yeah. blood, man. Because yeah. that, that funds their retirement. Yeah. <laughs> so the more money they can put in the, in the retirement bank, Better off they're gonna be. Yeah. You, you know? don't believe Think it. About I, have, it. I, I have a testimony. My, my, one of my friends, you know, his woman put him on, went and called the court, said, you know, beat her up or whatever, put him on child support. Then she, they, they, they made up whatever. She went back and, and said, nah, I want to take back the charges. Da 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 da. You know what the court said to her? I said, no, nah, the, the aggressive system is involved, man. There's no going back because that goes into that racket. They want to uh, expunge it. Now they just became an entity that they can just keep yeah. sucking up and at sucking first, up. At man. first, you could you could yeah. withdraw, and then now you have like yeah. if you yeah. press charges, then they have something where the state could pick up the charges. Yeah. Yeah. Even though you don't pick up charges now, yeah. it's, it's the state. Yeah, yeah, like 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 half the child support cases are the DOI going after you. It's not really that person, and then you have the arrears. So if you're late on your child support payment, oh, yeah. they tack on like double, and you gotta ask yourself why are they charging like, fees, when they're fees. not doing anything? Well, well right. there's, there's actually a there's a late fee and there's a rear that you have to pay. <laughs> so you gotta pay both. You have to yep. pay. You get whammy uh, two times. You can you can owe seven thousand child support, but with the fees and, 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 and uh, all this you know all this they tack on, you owe fourteen thousand. Yep. You know, you know, and it's, it's crazy. And then the women don't even get all of it. I think sixty six percent go to the state. And like I said. It goes to the retirement. And it's, un yeah. and it's yeah. unconstitutional. Yeah. So the state can't be uh, according to your own law, you yeah. know, like you're not supposed to be allowed to intrude in other people's business. Yeah. It started off with um with um military wives. Uh, 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 people that would men that would go to the military and they'll get put to death. It was like a funding that 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 they've gotten because of that 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 father was no longer out of the picture. From that it might have morphed into the system. That you see now, which is totally just a break up family, man. Break up families. Call, yeah, um, I had a couple from the GMS Good. Boston Call Good. Board. Good. This is our Judah the Prince, Jeremiah 2 and 14. Is Israel a servant? Is he a home born slave? Why is he spoiled? Then when you jump down to 21. Stop, just yep. add to that real quick, like you go look at your job, man. I go, I look at, because it's, I call myself trying to, you know what I mean, do my own little side work to stay away from the And that was the thing that I wanted. I didn't want to go back to that, go back to the plantation, if you will. But boy, was I mistaken, you know? Mm -hmm. The Heavenly Father had a different plan. But when I go back to, I went back to that place, man, looking at my people. And I'm like, man, only if y'all knew that y'all are got some, y'all are some goddamn slaves, man. Y'all are like, y'all are like, what, that, they had that quote Harriet tell me. I don't know how true it is, but the quote is a damn good quote. She said, because it's true. You could back it up with the scripture. She said, I freed hundreds of slaves. I could have freed thousands if only I could convince them that they were slaves. Yeah. That statement holds true to this day. Here we are talking about our situation, but the average so-called black Native American and Spanish, they don't believe that they're slaves, right. man. They think they're free. They, they believe that they're, what are you <laughs> yeah. talking about? Yeah. They're going to tell you about, you don't know about, you know, uh, 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 Martin Luther, not Martin Luther, Martin, uh, segregation and shit. George Lincoln, I mean, not George. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. George Lincoln. That was back in the day. <laughs> they all come in a different spirit. They all come in the same spirit. That was, that was ancient, like, you know, that was, like, so, that was so goddamn, it wasn't long ago, man. It wasn't that long ago, you know? It wasn't that long ago where you were literally in just chains and they give you stuff like this. You can put that, put the uh, camera on there, mm -hmm. so you can make good. You can feel good about yourself. You can feel good about Martin Luther King, and get all warm and fuzzy inside when you think of the movement that he wanted to do. It all rocks you to sleep. Yeah, man, ain't no Jake over there. I look, when I look there. at this shit. I think yeah. that dude on the Terminator, the one, the dude, the liquid metal dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, man, ain't no Jake over there. That's all. It's all. It's all. gonna put it on a. They gonna put it on a. Uh, they, they, uh, their uh, Facebook. Uh, yeah, in the bio, yeah. they're gonna say Black Lives Matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Don't give a fuck yeah, about. Yeah. Boy, asking for some uh, loan. Think about well, it. They, 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 some shekels. Yeah, yeah, they, they worship. Yeah, yeah. They worship yeah, their yeah. family yeah. father. Yeah, yeah. I, I just saw a clip on TikTok of this Edo Mike coming out. She's like, Did y'all know that George Washington, according to uh, uh, the few facts that that he had slaves, and, and according to his neighbors, he was one of the most uh, ruthless 
slave owners that ever lived, and that's what you're, and that's who the Edomites worship. Uh, uh, society, they have a whole Washington Day. They have uh, Columbus Andrew Day. Jackson. They have Andrew Washington Jackson Day. Every and, and, and they know what they did. They, 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 the Edomites today, they know the history, man. So, so what do you think they think about us? You know? Well, it says, what it says in Habakkuk where it talks about the uh, shameful truth. Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift distorteth the heart. And this is why that gift has deterred a lot of our people from seeing the truth, man. Because they're getting that gift. The gift distorteth the heart. When somebody comes with comes to you with some type of purse or some type of something, they're oh yeah, well, he's not he's not a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. But again, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They don't want to accept this knowledge because this knowledge doesn't doesn't add up with the ways of this world, man. That's right. And the ways of this world is pure wickedness. But our people love to have it so, man. Go ahead. Con, um, so from the comic board again, it's um, Sirach 19 and 22. Yep. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Neither at any time the counsel of sin is prudence. That's right. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. The earth is built off of wickedness because the earth was given unto the hand of the wicked. That's right. And if it was given unto the hand of the wicked, they're going to promote wickedness, man. They're not going to promote righteousness. They're not about righteousness. Okay? They love to kill. They love to steal and, and do all types of abominable things. They love to put in unrighteous decrees. America's built off of unrighteous decrees, man. Right. Everything in this place is unrighteous. Every last decree that they put forward. Okay? We read we read Psalms uh, 55. That that tells you a lot about their, their unrighteousness and the decrees that they've done. Right? You know, Esau tells you that they got this, acquired this land because they traded the land for fucking two pearls. They gave the Native Americans two beads of, you know, some bullshit, man. Some real bullshit. What Gad knew at the time, you can't give the earth away. You can't give this away. It's not yours to give. You see? But this is what they tell you in their systems. We got some real quick. Right. Uh, Isaiah 5 verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good right. and good evil, right. that put darkness for light and light for darkness, yep. that put bitter for sweet and sweet a sweet for bitter. Right, and this is why a lot of people hate the, 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 the Hebrew Israelites, because we're putting forth the light of the Lord, and the people don't like to see the light. They like to hear the lies and deceit that's been taught and that's being taught in the world. You see? And being taught these lies and deceits, you don't want to have nothing to do with this, this righteousness. You want nothing to do with it. Can two walk together step they be agreed? So nobody's going to agree with what we're saying because the truth hurts in here in Babylon. You know? And once, when, when the Lord finally comes down and starts opening up that can of whoop ass, then it's going to be known. It's going to be evidently clear who the wicked is. Go ahead. Tobacco, going back to the comment board, Isaiah 29 and 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, yep. and their works are in the dark, yep. and they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? That's right. Who seeth? That's why you. What's that? We, oh, we got the science back. Don't worry about it. But, you know, we got all these elites who are behind the scenes, you know? They get together in all these little secret, you know, uh, meeting houses, Jekyll Island, you know? Uh, uh, where that, where that, what is that goddamn owl over at uh, Moloch? Where you, Moloch. Grove? Yeah, where you, you see? These devils do a lot of wickedness behind the scenes, man. And then, and then, on top of that, they have all types of meetings where they pass laws and decrees where they don't even get the, the Congress involved or the government involved. They just push it in place, man. And they be like, oh, this happened overnight, you know, and you go to abide by it. Go ahead. Uh, Jeremiah 49, verse 10. Mm -hmm. But I have made Esau bear. Yep. I have uncovered his secret place. Yep. And he shall not be able to hide himself. Mm -hmm. His seed is spoiled and spoiled. And his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Right. So we we have been uncovering his secrets, man. As the book of Obadiah says, how is this uh, hidden thing sought up, man? Why are they being sought up? Because the Lord has, has has set his men in the right place at the right time. Before the men of the Lord came out of the highways and byways, you didn't hear too much about Esau and the so-called white man and his wickedness, man. So much so, half these crackers don't even realize that they're the wicked, man. They don't even know they're the wicked. They don't even know that the one, they're the ones the Bible speaks of. They're the descendants of those people. Go ahead. They get so offended too when you start. They do. Of course they do. I'd be like, dang, I'd be like, first of all, like, I remember when I first came into the truth, this white dude called me the N-word. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I started calling him and white and stuff like that. And then I told him, I was like, man, this is why you is the wicked. He said, I'm wicked. He said, I know you ain't calling me wicked. 
all you do is shoot up people and sell drugs. Like it's, it's so crazy how he flipped, like how Esau was able to put the spotlight on us and not him. Right, but the, the brother was getting into it though. The, the, the thing is, Esau so goddamn smart. He has made it so that the name of Edom is no more to be known in the world. You got people, the scholars saying, oh, Esau's done away with. They've died back in the Roman Jewish wars, and you know, uh, uh, Herod, Herod was the last, you know, known Edomite on the planet. I mean, again, you got to be a smart individual to push that. And this is why these crackers don't know they're the Edomites, because they suppressed it. You go into a dictionary, right? You go into an older dictionary, let's say from the 60s and 70s, you can look up Jacob, it's going to give you all kinds of history on Jacob. Jacob, the, the 12 sons, and you know, the history of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the front. Look up Esau, Jacob's brother. That's it. <laughs> Why is that? Because these devils were so smart and cunning, they knew there was going to be a point in time where their, their true biblical nationality was going to be exposed. And now if they can if they can separate themselves from that name Edom, Esau, then it's going to be hard for the people to figure out that they're the wicked that the Bible speaks of. That's right. You see? Go ahead. Real quick to go with the, you know, how they say that Esau's done and right. away with. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 16. There is no end of all the people, even of all that have been before them. They also that come after shall not rejoice in him. Right. There's no end of all the people. So I know I've read some. I've read somewhere they were saying that Herod was the last known Edomite. <laughs> so if Herod had a, 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 a concubine somewhere, laid up with her, and she and she fled somewhere, you know what? His seed is still preserved. That seed is still preserved. See? But it makes no goddamn sense why the devil is slick. He knows what he's doing. He knows exactly what to put out there. And he knows what exactly the people are going to uh, uh, gravitate to. They ain't gonna gravitate to Esau. They're gonna gravitate to Jacob. Everybody wants to be. Everybody wants to be an Israelite. Everybody's. You got the spiritual Israelites. You got the Israelite Israelites through the blood of Christ. You got all these people that now become Israelites, but nobody knows about Edom. Nobody knows anything about Edom. We don't have it. But when the scriptures speak about you know binding them in bundles and burning them, that's a future prophecy right there. Obadiah is a future prophecy. You know, it speaks about binding them and putting them. Where, where in the scriptures, where in the scriptures can you read that Esau was burnt in, in bundles and put to death? You ain't gonna read that because it hasn't happened. Because Esau had to be preserved for these last days, man. Hold on, right? Yeah. You too, like everything that you read in scriptures, such as, such as the flood, you know, yep. uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, there's yep. memorials left behind. That right. The tokens. Yep. 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 Well, um, that taking place. Yep. There's nothing left behind to say right. Esau got burnt up. Right. 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 You would, you would see the field of Edom, where all the Edomites yeah. burnt. You know, they would have something because because these devils love to label everything that they go around. Everywhere you go, there's a label for something. You know, this is the last stand of the, this man and that man. But we have no we have no indicators on where the last Edomite was buried, the last stronghold of the Edomites. You know, if they have been destroyed. You know, but we have sought out the we have sought out the things that Esau Edom, and we know who you are. We put you on blast right now. Now the whole world, now the whole world knows that the Edomites are still on the planet Earth. Yep. You know, they question themselves. They're how are we the Edomites? Am I, am I the descendant of Edom? But they know they are, man. And some of the people come forward and tell them. Even in social media, you got you got Esau making videos that um, making some saying that man, all this time I never knew that I was an Edomite. Mm -hmm. Those guy was white. You hear that about on YouTube, TikToks, Instagram. You know, Esau coming out, letting the world know that they're Edomite. Yeah. Matter of fact, give me Obadiah. Did you start at, start at uh, 10? Start at 10. Right. This is Obadiah, um, one in... Um, start at 10. Uh, 10. And it, and it reads, it says, For violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. For the violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. Now, who, who, who has committed all types of violence against Jacob? Right. Yep. Edom, Esau. Esau. Now it says, shame shall cover thee. Now, we're talking about some future prophecy right here. Because we can't find anywhere in the scriptures where the fulfillment of Jacob ruling over Esau has been fulfilled. Where the, 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 the fulfilling of Jacob having Esau in chains and as slaves has been fulfilled. Esau still reigning supreme on the planet, man. Go ahead. Uh -huh. And it, it says, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Right, Esau shall be cut off forever. These, these devils are still running around, man. The scholars know who they are. 
They know that they're Edomites. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, in the day that thou stoodest on the other side, mm -hmm. in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces mm -hmm. and his uh, foreigns, uh, and it says, and foreigns entered into the, his gates and now, cast lot. We 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 was, we was kind of having a discussion about some of the the, the the possessions of Israel that Esau has carried off, man. Just look at the Ark of Titus. The Ark of Titus is a prime example of how Esau carried off these goodly things that belonged unto our people. And they've done that continuously. Whenever, whenever a, 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 a power structure fell, what'd they do? One of the first things they do is go and get them riches, man. Mm -hmm. Get them artifacts. You know, it is, it is said that Queen Elizabeth was sitting on the throne that belonged to David. You know? I mean, how true it is, I, I mean, you know, but it doesn't surprise me that these artifacts have been held on to throughout the years, man. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, um, it says the foreigners entered in, into his gates mm -hmm. and cast lots upon Jerusalem, mm -hmm. even though it says, even thou wasn't a, as one of them. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, uh, but thou shouldest not have looked on on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger. Mm -hmm. Neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their of their destruction. destruction yes. It says, Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Mm -hmm. It says, Thou should have not entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yep. It says, Yea, though though it says, Though shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity. Right, and there's there's plenty of scriptures, there's plenty of uh, uh, proof positives that show that these things have happened to the children of Israel by the hand of Esau. Yep. You know, one time we came together with Esau is when our father died. You know, we had there was a moment of there was a moment of truth, if you will. Right, there was a moment of truth. But when that has that truth was up, Esau was out for blood, man, and have been and has been ever since. They said there's a perpetual hatred to the children of Israel, man. Yep, yep. I got one more day real quick, brother. Go ahead. Psalm 137, verse 7. Go ahead, read it. He says, um, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. So if you really, if you look at it, they would have to attribute most of these things uh, 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 to, to Hitler, if you will. Because as it stands, Hitler was the only one that has done such atrocities to the so-called Jewish people, right? But so Hitler was an Edomite himself, right. the so-called Jew himself. That's Go ahead. He says, O daughter of Babylon, is about to be destroyed. That's America. America, O daughter of Babylon, is about to be destroyed. He saw Edom is a control of Babylon right now. And it's going to be destroyed in these upcoming years, man. Lord willing, it's this year. Go ahead. Bash their little ones against the stones. The scripture said it, man. The Lord said it. And we're gonna perform it, man. I mean, no one had a problem with you crackers didn't have a problem with it when it was our people getting smashed and killed and put to death. Nobody had a problem with it. Crackers said it was for the greater good of the uh, 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 what he said, it was for the greater good of the advancement of America. You see? So you had no problem with it. Or well, it's gonna be for the greater good for the advancement of the uprising of the children of Israel. That's right. That's How about that? And for all you non-believers, you're going to see real soon, man. Go ahead. He said, Amos chapter one verse eleven. He said, "Thus said the Lord." Oh, hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Let me, let me spread it out a little bit. That's all right. That's all right. Now we're gonna come back to that. Go ahead. Isaiah forty-seven verse six. I was brought from my people. I have polluted my inheritance and gave them to thy hands. Mm -hmm. Thou didn't show them no mercy. Of what ancient has thou very late and it, and, it, thy and it just stands and holds true to this very day. The so-called white man showed no goddamn mercy mm -hmm. to the so-called Native American, to the so-called black man, or to the so-called Puerto Rican, man. That stands true to this very day. The Chinese people and all these other heathens, they didn't do as wickedly unto Israel as the so-called white man has they done, did, man. So that's another indicator how we understand and know that Esau is well and alive and kicking, man. 
got a pulse in the whole shit today. He up on he up on two feet, creating all kinds of wickedness throughout the four corners of the earth. Right. Staring up shit. Alright, let's roll. Uh, verse 7. And thou said, I shall be a lady forever. Mm -hmm. So that thou did not lay this thing to thine house. Mm -hmm. Neither did this remember the latter end of. I'll be, as I said, I'll, I'll keep being a lady forever. Yeah. And that's another thing America thinks that they're so damn delicate. They think they're so prominent. Ooh. They think they're so, you know, oh, uh, so graceful. They're wicked, man. You know, they're, they're, they're the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Their forked tongue, mm -hmm. they speak for uh, both sides of their mouth. Their thoughts are uh, evil as hell. Yeah. Go ahead. Yep. Verse 8, thou Psalm for 14. Go ahead. Thou for here now, thou thou art given to pleasure, mm -hmm. thou dwellest carelessly, mm -hmm. thou sayest in thine heart, I am I am and no one else beside me. Mm -hmm. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the lot of children. Which 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 they're going to sit as a widow. Alright? Because when that war comes, as it's pursuant to the book of Ezra, when that war comes, you're gonna be put to death, man. You're going to be put to death. And you're going to lose all types of men over in these wars. And rightfully so. You think you're going to go to these other people's country and, and, and set up shop and raise your flag up in the air? That shit ain't going to happen, man. That shit, you you walking on thin, thin ice right now. You know? You want to come up against these small little countries, but you ain't saying shit to China. You ain't saying shit to Russia. You're talking all kinds of nonsense. Russia will blow, Russia will blow your ass off the map, man. And uh, if I may add two real quick, um, my elder, um, Vami Putin said this, you know, in, in, a, in a media, and then Prince Lee said that, you know, if America were to meet them in the field, they would, they would completely yeah. decimate them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, they get all this, this hype and all this talk about, you know, Ukraine is in the fight, and Ukraine can beat Russia and all that. Listen, man, again, there's a, there's a level of spoken marriage that these devils have to put forward. Because the appropriate the, the appointed time is not yet. But when the Lord truly sets the appointed time, then you're gonna see, man. Anybody that's joined hand in hand with America is gonna be put to death, destroyed. And then and then my it's just that too, brother. Now America said that Ukraine's winning the war, but you got people that's that's making video letting them know that the Ukraine is not winning the war, they're actually losing the war. I mean, you know? again, this it's all propaganda. Yeah. Man. It's all propaganda with the news. You know? Go ahead, brother. You got something to say? I was going to tell you all about TikTok. I was watching this. They make collage videos. America, they were saying like how America was winning. But they used to see the clip from video games and movies. America's in a fantasy land, man. They're in a fantasy world. They, they pretend it's all fantasy to them. You know, and that's how they judge their, their skill level. By the by the games and video games they put out. You know, USA, USA. That's all they got is fucking chance. But at the end of the day, America ain't got no goddamn backbone, man. There's no backbone over here. You know, even the art of war. They don't even, they, they just drop bombs on people now. Nope. They don't you don't go to war. That's all right, the world's gonna fix their ass it's real nice, man. That's right, that's right. Good. 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 Verse nine, <coughs> but these two things mm -hmm. shall come to thee in a moment, and one day, the loss of children. Loss of children. In widowhood. In widowhood. How is that gonna be possible? How is, how is these things gonna take place? The loss of children in widowhood. The Lord's gonna put everybody to death over here, man. And, and as the scripture says, in one day it's gonna come. So all, this, all these things, all these things that are, that are being spoken of in the scriptures are going to stand true, man. And there's not going to be anybody to turn it back or to, or, to, or, to, or to change it, you know? you got people that have come up and asked us, well, you know, what if we do it this way? What if we do it that way? What if, no, it, it, it's not going to go that way, man. Just listen to what the scriptures are saying. Listen to what the prophets are breaking, how the prophets are breaking it down, and understand. So you better go, you know, do what you got to do. Have your fun or whatever because it's going to end real soon, man. Just like in Jerusalem, it says that the right was on the wall. That's right. That's right. That's it. That's right. Yep. And the right is on the wall. We're publishing it. We're publishing the word. As the scripture says, and the word was published. And here it is, man. You don't, you don't have to believe us because we're a group of black men, you know, uneducated, no jobs, and, you know, we, we may be racist, we call us rapists and racist. We don't have to believe anything we say. But one thing's for sure, people are listening. You're listening. People are listening to what's happening. And, and, and keep in mind, if you think this bank thing is just a, a, 
that one or two banks yeah, they have problems, this just gonna be a goddamn uh, windfall. Right. It's gonna be a, a domino effect, man. Get your money out the. You want some advice? Get your money out the banks right now. Get it while you can. Because you watch, you gonna sit there and get comfortable. Think, ah, I'm not worried about it because Esau's telling these people that their money is insured. Yeah, the money is insured if it's one or two institutions that are happening to go to, go down. But when it's a goddamn grand scale, they're gonna be like, yeah, unfortunately we didn't anticipate this, so you out of luck, man. And then you are gonna see dead bodies out in front of the banks. Yeah, but there's a reason why they keep comparing it to the Great Depression because mm -hmm. once that whole banking thing happened. There wasn't even enough soup for our people to get right. this, our food right. banks and stuff. Over in Germany, they were burning, they were burning, they were burning piles of money, man, yeah. and keeping the firewood, yeah. burning the money, man. Yeah. Again, it's it's all going to be useless around here. And they talking about Russia cyber attacks. So you already know what that means. Right. They're going to so when it does wipe out, they're going to blame it on Russia. Right. And they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna but you know what though? They're going to shut this whole cyber shit down anyway. Yeah. They're going to shut this internet shit right down. Man. It's gonna happen. They're gonna have to shut it down because too much information is being let out, man. And the last thing I mentioned with TikTok, come to find out now that it has to do with the shares. Mm -hmm. So the shareholders of TikTok, they want them to show their shares to U.S. stockholders so that they can control the content. <laughs> so it never had nothing to do with Chinese spying right. on us. It's the right. fact that they don't have control of the information that's being put out. There's man. a lot of shit going on, yeah. man. There's a lot of moving parts going on right now. That's why it's 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 imperative that you people take heed to what's going on, what's being said, yep. and all the things that are being done right now. It's imperative. All right, go ahead. No, no, I got Ecclesiastes. Oh, I still want that too, though. Come. I got Ecclesiastes chapter five verse seven. Yep. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. That's right. And put not off from day to day. That's right. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. That's right. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed mm -hmm. and perished in the day of vengeance. Right. This when you think you just just when you think you're comfortable. You know, you know, there was that movie Purge, right? In Purge, they had the safe house. They, they had a, 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 the dude was, he was uh, the, the inventor of, you know, fortifying your house, so to say. The windows, the bars come down, it's that the third. But you become a prisoner in your own home, man. You become a prisoner in your own home. So just when you think you're going to be safe in your own dwelling, then the Lord's going to come down and make some shit happen, man. They had a plan. There's always going to be a way, there's always going to be a way for a nigga to get in your shit, man. You know? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, there's gonna be no stopping people. When, when, when you, when somebody got it set in their mind, their heart to get something, they gonna get it, man. They ain't coming in. They ain't coming there to take your goddamn safe box. They coming there to get your family, man. They coming there to ravish your 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 your, your family. You know? Go ahead, bro. God, this is uh, Luke 12 and 16, and he spake a parable unto them, saying, "The ground of a certain rich man." brought forth plentiful mm -hmm. and he thought within himself saying what shall I do because I have no room where to bestow my fruits That's right. and he said this will I do I will pull down my barn and build greater yep. and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods right now this is another another facet of being safe in your securities in your goods and in your belongings and your possessions what, what, what Creflo Dollar said, you got to love the, your Lord with your goods and your possessions, your stuff, you know? <laughs> hey, love the Lord with your stuff. <laughs> That's not what it means. That's not what it means. Say, you want to love the, you got to love the Lord with your stuff. What the fuck does that mean, man? Love the Lord with your stuff. Go ahead, brother. Con verse 19. That's moonwalking and doing splits on the yeah, day. Yeah, sure. <laughs> What's that other nigga name? That nigga Sherlock, you believe it's money! They was in joy, they was in jubilee because why? They was receiving all that money. They was, yeah, money, 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 money. Some of this money. He said, I'm a night, I'm a night, man. Money. I'm gonna anoint you with this. Yeah, man, but they make, a, they make a mockery of it. They make a mockery of it, but the people are so goddamn blind, they don't even see it. Yeah, they don't even, and if I was in there, I'm like, well, hold on, wait a damn These niggas, these niggas up here, yeah, these niggas up here moonwalking and sliding and gliding on a whole bunch of cash. Meanwhile, I'm going home empty-handed, you know. But all that's gonna be, all that's gonna be done away with, man. This system is is imploding on itself right as we speak, man. The banking system is there in each one of these banks and these CEOs. They're leaving. They're they're shutting their they're shutting their doors. But you don't think they've already prepared for this? 
they've already prepared for this. And now you got Congress talking about, you know, these big banks, they should give back the bonuses that they receive. Ain't nobody giving a goddamn thing back, man. It's too late for all that. You know, go ahead, brother, finish off. Con, verse 19. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thy ease, uh -huh. eat, drink, and be merry. Yep. But Yahweh said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. That's right. Then so, who shall those things be which thou hast provided? Right. So what's going to happen when the Lord comes down and, and takes you, man? You sitting there planning, building bonds, and big and building bigger. And you going out into the yard looking up like, yeah, you know what? I can put that over there. Put enough room to fit that there. And your Lord's coming to get you. Man. This is why the scriptures say, man, use this word, but don't abuse it. And that's the difference between, you know, us brothers in this truth and those people in the world. Those people in the world have become such accustomed to using this world to, to the point where they have no other choice, man. But we have been instructed to use the world, but don't abuse it. Just use it great. You know what? You get a little bit here, you get a little bit there, and you keep it pushing. Don't, don't ground yourself and leave yourself in a position of you have no other choice but to rely on this country, man. That's the difference, man the world but don't abuse it when you find yourself you know buying and, and, and digging it real deep you're you, first of all, we're all stuck here in America we're all stuck here what I mean by that is we're not gonna we're not looking to, to jump on a boat to go somewhere we can't we can't afford to go no goddamn way. and on top of that you have obligations you may have your family here you may have you know your, your, your mean of feeding your family or providing for your family so where you gonna go? You ain't going nowhere. But we trust in Yahweh Bashmiah Shai. As like I said, and he commanded us, use this world, but don't abuse it. Give us this day our daily bread. You see? And this is how we operate with one another. But you people out there in the world, when this fucking thing collapses and everything implodes on itself, you're gonna be screaming and crying like no, you're gonna be crying, man. It's gonna be a lot of people. What happened? Why? What's going on? Oh my god. You know, let let the section eight. Let the food stamps, let all that shit go down, man. Let all that shit go down. Then you're gonna see all these these individuals, men and women, men and women, everybody's on food stamps around here. You know? And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but you've trusted so much into this system, you have no other way out or no other means. So when this system falls, you are going to fall. Zero faith. Zero faith. When the system falls, you will fall. That, um, and that's the truth, man. That's right, right. There's no other way to look at that. Because this system is what's holding you up right now. The scripture says, love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. Yep. You've become so accustomed to leaning on Esau and trusting in your enemy that when he pulls the plug from on, 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 out of the wall, then you're going to be stuck, man. And may, will, the Lord, will the Lord then hear your voice at that time? Chances are probably slim. Because you are listening to the word of the Lord right now. That's right. No, they should call up for me, but I will not answer. You know, we only telling you what you need to know, man. You know, if for you and for you women out there who, who believe and truly trust in Yahweh Bash Miao Shai, may he protect you. But for you men and women who talk shit and walk about like, you know, I'm high value and all this high value bullshit, America has no value. So how the hell are you high value? There's no value in this place, man. High value, it's high value. The hell out of there with that bullshit. America is, is, is useless, man. There's zero value in America. All right, so where we at now? All right, let's go. This is from uh, NBCnews.com. Yep. NBC says, News, right? It says, nuclear power plant leaks 400,000 gallons of radioactive water. Where's this at? In Minnesota. Minnesota. South Carolina, Amber. What more do you people need, man? How much more? Before, see, that's the thing. People don't take heed until it affects the 
their neighborhood. When it starts affecting your neighborhood, then your ears go up. Like, you know, when the dog ears go up, they oh shit, they alert. And then your ears go up. Now you're going to be like, well, what are we going to do? This is unacceptable. What's, what's Congress, Congress going to do? All right? Go ahead. Remember that train from Virginia Howard, right? Yeah. So they saying, remember that 15 minutes of smart city? Uh -huh. Now they talking about they want to in Ohio to be the first 15 minutes of smart city, which is so funny because that happened right after the, um, they basically telling people to move from that right. area and move right. over here. Right. They're trying to get everybody into the whole place. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The government wants to uh, take yep. over that over the over land. land. Yep. Man, you, you people think it's a joke, man. You think it's a joke. You think we be out here in the freezing cold and, and, and talking shit. You know, you see, man, it's like real devil, man. And that's what you're going to hear. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You're going to hear it from a distance, right? Yeah. 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 You saw way over there again. Somebody getting slaughtered way over there in the distance. You're going to know not to go over there. That's right. Yeah, man. You're going to be screaming and hollering. If I may add to, I'll show you how it's planned. The Lord put the spread on a dude on TikTok to where um, the derailment in Virginia. He actually showed the railway. And he showed how it's deteriorating, mm -hmm. and he said, "I guarantee this is going to be the next one." And it was in a week. That's exactly where the uh, train um, train crashed because it went into the uh, yeah yeah into the water source. I'm telling you, listen, listen, listen. These devils ain't afraid to shut this bitch down. They already did it when that COVID shit hit, man. They, they shut this, they'll shut this bitch down in a heartbeat. But people don't believe it though. They don't believe it. They'll shut this bitch down in a heartbeat. You look at look at the sports, look at the NBA, the baseball, the football. They generate billions of fucking dollars, man. They shut that shit. And they shut that shit right down. So they ain't afraid to shut it down to get control of the mass of the people, man. They're not afraid. Obliterate cities and to contaminate cities. Look at look at um look at it. what's that uh uh over in Russia there um Chernobyl. Oh, look at Chernobyl over there, man. They shut that that whole shit is a, a wasteland over there. You think you think it's you think it's foreign? You think it's foreign thought to, to have that here happen in America? It's gonna happen, man. With all these fucking polluted water systems and streams, it's gonna happen. Go ahead. It says um um Excel Energy Monticello nuclear power plant. There's no danger to the public. Excel Energy took swift action to contain the leak to the plant site, which posed no health and safety risk to the local communities or the environment. This bullshit. Bullshit. You can, you can get a fucking car driving by with a fucking bad exhaust system and be all kinds of fucking smoke. You'd be like, God damn, it smells like gas and all kinds of shit, man. You mean to tell me some nuclear shit leaking into the system? Some fucking chemicals released, released up into the air is not going to be harmful to the people? That's bullshit, man. That's pure bullshit. They're spraying barium oxide. Yes, sir. As the old saying goes, what goes up must come down. So that barium oxide comes down to the ground that they're spraying up there. You don't think that's affecting the people? Of course it's affecting the people, man. The Ohio River and from Minnesota to the Mississippi River, mm -hmm. that's all being tainted. That's your neck of the woods, Ohio, right? Yeah. That's I'm your saying, neck that's of the woods. Being, that's all being tainted right now. Of so course. All that stuff is going into the Mississippi, Mississippi River. Mm -hmm. That's equivalent to the Nile River over there in the middle. Yep. Because when, when that gets tamed, that means all the food systems are going to be destroyed. Right. All the water systems right. are going to be destroyed. Right. 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 And they're going to have, they're gonna, they're gonna have a, 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 a heavy restriction on water. Yeah, it's going to be a heavy cool. restriction on water. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, yeah. Man, go ahead, brother. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. You know, the food that we have, the water that we have, we're not going to be able to eat it. Yeah. Because that's where those waterways are going to form. You know? They use them as irrigation uh, yep. uh, systems, yep. you know. Yep. Crop, you know, farmers gotta, you know, you know, water their crops and all this shit. Yeah. This shit is over, man. This shit is about over. We didn't have food uh, from the pandemic. We definitely were getting ready not to have food. Now. That's right. That's because right. Tainted, That's right. Uh, tainted water. Yep. The animals and shit, the, the crops and man, it's, it's all good, bro. You got to reset. Real quick. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Second, get him next. Second Corinthians two and eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. That's right. We are not ignorant of his devices. The Lord has put the spirit on us to be circumspect. The Lord has put the spirit on us to watch and, and, and pray to see what's going on. You see? It's and, and the prophets are telling you, man. We're giving you warning. The Lord said that. Give them warning for me. Lord, the Lord is orchestrating all of these things, man. But if you have to be so eat them to be that to be that catalyst to get this thing popping. Go ahead. 
This is Ezekiel 4 and 16. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment, that they may want bread and water and be astoned one with another and consume away. Yeah. See that? So the, the, the time is coming, man. Yeah. You, you people better realize and understand what's going on around here. As we read earlier, be circumspect. Understand what you're involved with. Understand what's happening because it's going to be for a matter of time before you realize and it's too late. So it's going to be too late to take action. This is such a useful nation. When you think about all the stuff that people waste, water bottles, they need a little bit of water. And, and like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come when you're going to sit there and think back about that half bottle of water you had sitting in your eyes. Yeah, yeah man, and I'm guilty of that. You need a little squirt of that. I do that, you know? You know, when I used to work at old, this place called Roach Brothers, man, prepared foods, you know that shit out. Dude, cats got fired for taking shit home that they was throwing out. They got fired. I said to myself, how, how, how is this even possible? Here you are, you got a whole smoke smoke full of food, and, 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 the, and you got the dudes coming with the big, the, the barrels that are on the wheels. They got the wheels, they roll up, and just take the shit, and start emptying the shit into the bucket. And one dude took some wings and a couple other things, and they're like, yeah, you out of here, man. Destruction, we shall send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine upon you, and will break your staff of bread. That's right. Yep. Yep. Also, that's how it's gonna um the price of the food is gonna shoot up even higher. Yep. The hyperinflation. Yeah. Because it's here. Oh, yeah. Everything else is gonna be tainted. You know, whatever is left over, let's leave. You know, it's gonna right. be into the highest price, right. and there's not gonna be much left over because these stores are gonna be empty, man. The store shelves are gonna be empty. They show you that in these movies. We tell you this all the time. It's just gonna be empty, man. Anybody trying to go into the store late, you get there late. Shit, shit, you shit. Might as well forget it, man. And that's when, and that's when the irrational thought is gonna come. I gotta go get a nigga shit. I gotta go steal something from somebody. You see, you see a lady walk with two bags. You know, I'm like, oh, snatch your shit and all that, man. Even during the pandemic, they had a, a, a number amount of how many people paid. Yeah, 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 right. Cut. Good. Yep. I know it's still down where I live. I think it was like 170 something at, at one time. So you had to wait till they go in, they go in, and every time somebody come out, then they let you go in. You know? No more, man. Yeah, what's going to happen? Between the bank saying we have no more money and the food store saying we have no more food, what you going to do, man? That's why the scripture says a man shall have no pity upon That's his God. neighbor. Go ahead. Uh, second Ezra chapter 15. I go right to the point. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread Here it and is. for great tribulation. Because of the lack of bread. What does that mean, the lack of bread? Mm. Meaning the lack of food, the lack of, the lack of you know uh, resources that you that you may need to sustain yourself. These things are going to come to a bare minimum until they come to naught, and then when they come to naught, you're going to have to go take it from somebody. You're going to have to ravage somebody's house. You're going to have to take somebody out. Go ahead. Uh, Lamentations four verse nine. Right. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. Right. And there's going to be a lot of hungry people, man. The Lord talked about famine coming upon those days where famine is going to be real man it's going to be a real life issue That's right. go ahead for these pine away stricken through through the want of the fruits of the field <laughs> the hands of the pitiful woman have sought in their own children That's right they were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my what does people that mean to sodden your own children Ooh, your, they're they're gonna gonna boil and cook your own children yeah. these things are these things are what's on the horizon man Go ahead, brother. Well, now I was going to add, because Tazioff always goes into the carbon footprint. There isn't even going to be enough to share, because once you get your servant, yeah, it? man, that's it. That's you it. know, and uh, similar was in, in Venezuela. We always bring that up. They had the biometric system to where they would only let you get but so much out the grocery store. And then even with the book of um, 
the famine of Sir Mario, when you look at how much the donkey's head cost, uh -huh. there ain't no meat on that, but that was a form of hyperinflation. Right. Right. What was it, 40? Uh, or so dung? They just pumped in another $2 trillion to help the banks. But you already know when hyperinflation happened, that helps out the banker, but it's the poor gets poor because the mm -hmm. prices go up. Yeah. Until, yeah. Until, until the poor decide to take matters into their own hands as the scripture says their actions shall stand in their course right. they're going to take matters in their own hands when these things come but uh, but again this is this is a real live active thing that we're going to be witnessing right go ahead yeah man in the back you you had sri lanka you yep. had what happened in thing where they were um they were going up in the stores taking shit mm -hmm. yeah. they were going up to the politicians houses all up in their kitchen yep. all up in all of that yeah yep. so yeah what do you think these what do you think these elites are doing man they're not hanging in their neighborhoods because you know you know the, with the with the with the means of access to information in this country you can find out where any and everybody lives you think these devils you think these devils are gonna sit there in their little homes on the hill they're gone, man. They're gone. And everybody got one of these. Yeah, yeah they're gone. Ain't nobody gonna be waiting around to have their door bust down and have a mob of people looking to drag them out and beat them in the street. They did that to Mussolini and his wife. Went down there and dragged them out and beat them in the street, pretty much. All right, go ahead, brother. This is Isaiah 36 and 6. He says, Oh, while trusting in the staff of this broken reed yep. on Egypt, yep. on if a man lead, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is the Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. Right. And if you're trusted in this place, you're going to be in for a rude awakening, man. That's right. And our people have trusted in America so much, man. They believe this American way. They believe in the American system. But they don't, what they don't believe is the men of the Lord that are on the highways of the wild. telling you this place is polluted, man. It's going to destroy you. This place is ultimately going to destroy you, man. I mean, what are, what are you going to teach them? What are you going to do? You can build all kinds of black schools, right. black this and black that, but it's only going to be funded for so long, man. What are you going to teach them? What can you, what can you possibly teach a young black youth in America? The minute you go against the grain, you can say, okay, white cops are prejudiced towards black people. Your school's getting shut down. Right. Yep. Shit, your shit's going to shut down. Right. Yep. You mentioned one thing about the so-called white man, his structure, his system. You out of here, man. Yep. Well, they talk about the black dollars, yet they all got white faces on them. Yep. Right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, the whole Who's super scripted is this? Caesar. <laughs> yep. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, Isaiah 10 verse 20. It shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel is such as our escape of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon the name that's on them, mm -hmm. but stay upon the Lord Yehovah shall shine. Right. The of Israel shall shine. Right. We are in the hope of the elect are now staying and staying upon Yehovah Bash Miao Shai. We're not, we're not putting our trust in these devils. We ain't, we ain't putting not one ounce of confidence in this system, in this man. Gotcha. Not one ounce. Gotcha. We got zero confidence that this devil's gonna be for us when all hell breaks loose, man. He ain't coming to help you. He's not seeking to help you. He's seeking to destroy you with a sword of destruction. Go ahead. Uh, I got our Psalms 118, verse 8 and 9. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in men. That's right. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. That's right. So we trust in the Lord all the way around. We don't give a goddamn what black man takes office or what so called black man is going to come and try to, you know, quarrel and, and settle the people down, man. It don't matter. If you ain't coming talking about Yahweh Bash Miao Shah is coming back to destroy this place, he's about to make he create havoc. If you ain't talking that kind of talk, we don't want nothing to do with you, man. We got nothing in common. We got nothing in common for the ways of this world, man. And that's what a lot of that's why a lot of people can't get down with what we're telling them. Because our, our views are not the same views. Our fight is not your fight. You wanna fight the government, you wanna fight the system. I mean, go right ahead. You're gonna lose. What makes you think you're gonna just roll over, lay down, and let you take over? That's not gonna happen, my man. Go ahead. Uh, Proverbs 3 verse 6. Trust in the Lord for thy heart to lead not in the heart of the city. Right. In all thy ways of knowledge, he right. shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Seal the Lord in the path of evil. Right. And the key thing out of that is, the Lord's gonna direct your path, man. 
is going to direct your path. So fear not and worry not when the time of trouble is at hand, man. The Lord is going to put the spirit on you to move a certain way, to do a certain thing, to put yourself in a certain position. We ain't worried about anything. And if we get apprehended, the Lord said, don't worry about it. Don't worry about what you still speak. Because the Lord is going to give you a mouth to speak in that time and that hour. That's right. So we ain't worried about any of these things that's going on. We're blessed because we now see and the times and the things that we're now seeing are very, very exciting, man. This is exciting. Hearing these fucking these power plants leaking shit, water getting all contaminated, the food stores and the truckers are gonna be shutting down pretty soon. This is very exciting times right now. You know? You know, 15 years ago when we was reading it and speaking it, we still had the spirit for it, but we have it more, it's burning more so now because we're getting closer, man. We're getting closer and closer. Go ahead. Matthew 13 and 16. Um, but blessed are your eyes, for they see, right. and your ears, for they hear. Right. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, right. and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard right. them. That's right. That's right. You know, we're, we're blessed because now we see these things and we understand it as opposed to the prophets of old, which we were. We wrote these things down and didn't understand them, man. Meditated on them, we thought about them, you know, but it, it just wasn't at the appropriate time for us to receive it. Now the books are open, all right? Now the things are revealed unto us. We know that the so called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. Which is, which is one of the most important ingredients to this whole recipe that the Lord has set up, man. Knowing that the so called white man is the, is the man known as Esau Edom in the Bible, all right? So be be ready and be prepared. Give me uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Revelation 12 and 12. Mm -hmm. I got you. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice the heavens, and he that will end them. Yep. Woe to the inhabitants of, of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because you know that he happened a short time. How important is that to know, man? How important is it to know who the devil is? If you don't know who the devil is, you can't understand who's gonna come down upon you, man. So it's important that you know who the devil is. And who is the devil? Who is the deceiver of the whole world? Who is the master manipulator? He saw Edom, man. He saw Edom is that man. He's the man. Go ahead. Our second as a 16 and 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Who's gonna do that? Moab going to come over here and do it? The Chinese man's going to come over here and do it? Who going to do it? The so-called, the Hamite, he going to come over here and do it? He's going he's gonna to start making an insurrection against the men of the Lord? The spear. He saw Edom going to do it, man. He saw going to do that, man. Read that again. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. You see that? It's going to be great insurrection. that they were Israelite. A lot of men, they want to play it safe. Talking about we, we, uh, we, uh, we accept all denominations. We all, we all can be Israel. No, man, no. And the funny thing is, these devils know who you are, man. Regardless of what you believe or what you say, they know exactly who you are. Just by, just by means of where you live. And where, and where your, your families have lived throughout the years. They know where they live. First ones to get got, of course. They're gonna roll right up in there and get you on out of there, man. Being in these prestigious neighborhoods. Con, it says, oh, um, for they show, um, for they should be like madmen, sparing none. Yep. We're still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. You see that? They should be like madmen, sparing none. So it doesn't matter if you're out here in the house of violence. you know at least you have a, an arm of protection that's going to help you than to be out there in the world talking shit having no protection because it doesn't matter if you're here or not they're still going to come after you just because who you identify as that's why a lot of you other uh, uh, tribes 
you got that you got that uh, complex you got the complexion for the protection if you will you know you may be light skinned or whatever you don't identify as an Israelite but you don't think these devils don't know who you are and then when they come down you're gonna be like why are you doing this to us we have done nothing we've done nothing to you and then they may at that point let you know because you're an Israelite that's why uh -huh. man, you always have that saying when the rubber meets the, the road. road. That's right. A -a -a especially with the MOTB, because mm -hmm. it says they should um for they shall waste and take away their goods yep. and cast them out of their houses. Yep. Then shall be known who are my chosen, yep. and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Yep. And to read on it says, Here, O ye my beloved, save the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, right. but I will deliver you from the same. Right. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, yep. for the for the Lord is your guide, yep. and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, save the Lord power. Let not your sins weigh you down, right. and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. That's heavy. That's heavy, man. That's heavy. You know, for all you out there who truly believe in this thing of ours, man, stand fast, hold fast, man, and wait upon the Lord. He's not going to let us down, man. He's not going to let us down. You may catch flack because you tell your friends, you know, you, you know, you, you know, you, you, you know you're, you're, you're Israelite, you know that your nationality is Hebrew Israelite, your family may catch all kinds of flack, but don't worry about your family, man. Worry about, worry about what the Lord is going to do when he comes back to, to destroy people. You don't want to be a part of that destruction. You don't want to die with Esau, Edom, and any other two thirds that are going to put the death over here. Go ahead. Uh, Proverbs 23, 17 and 18. Hold on. And he also said, he said, this devil's going to take you from your house, man. Rip you out of your house. That's right. There's going to be a certain level of, of uh, there's going to be a certain level of uh, communication amongst these devils. They're going to tell themselves, yeah, all right, here's, here's the move. You know, because there was a dude that I know who was in the army a while back. And he had gave me some, not gave me information, but he had told me, like, they have briefings, man. These briefings, you know, some of the shit they've been telling them in the briefings, like, yo, this is, this is America. Dude, like, this is America, you know? Right. you know. But they're all under orders, man. It don't matter where they are. Once you sign your name on that dotted line, you are, you are to follow orders, and that's it. They ain't gonna sit there and debate with you and, and have a conference with you and bring you to the fucking general's office and you tell the general, hey general, I don't think that's we should do that. No, 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 no. It's none of that democracy shit. You are a soldier, you are taking orders. And if your order is to go in the neighborhood and with on a Humvee with a 50 cal and wipe out everybody that got a red X on their sidewalk or a red dot on their door, you wipe any everybody else, that's what you wanna do, man. You ain't no troops? Ties to nobody Absolutely here. not. Absolutely not. You ain't troops been there for a long time. Training. Getting the lay of the land, if you will. Certain, certain, uh, certain locations, certain neighborhoods, certain places where Jake dwells, man. Yeah. They gonna run up in there and just put you to death and not think twice about it, man. Put you to death and go through your pockets a little bit. You know, look you, you know, see you got around and then talk and kick you over to the side, man. Be ready. Go ahead. Proverbs 23. Hold, hold, hold a second, brother. There was a video, I believe, at Georgetown University. It was a meeting, you know, with, um, you know, new soldiers, people that was coming on. Yep. They, they said, yeah, yeah, so you got to send them to the city. Uh, you're not going to be back here. Right. You know, in America. Right. So you know something is right. That's not because what, what, is it, what is it in their, in their creed? They're, they're foreign and domestic. Yeah. Yeah. So if they say foreign and domestic, that means what? That there's gonna be people going troops gonna have to stay here to handle the shit at home, man. Proverbs 23 and 17, but like, in 18. So let not your heart be sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Surely there is an end, and your expectation shall not be at all. That's right. Surely there is an end. There's an end to all things. It's gonna be an end to Esau Edom, it's gonna be an end to our suffering over here in Babylon the Great, dealing with this bullshit on a weekly basis. Most high. Go ahead. Scripture says better is the end of a day. That's right. That's right. So we be we patiently waiting on the Lord, man. We ain't trying to, you know, you know, tell the brother, hey brothers, all right, we're gonna get together next week. We're gonna go and, and, and jump and bust down the state house door and go in there and ask for our reparations. And ask for, you know, ask for our 40 acre and a mule. It ain't going down like that, man. Let the state house be right where it is. Because the time is going to come where the Lord is going to send the hooligans out there to do all that dirty work, man. But we as men of the Lord, we're going to be safe and secure, Lord willing, man.
you know, in out of harm's way. You ain't gonna put us in the middle of all that bullshit. You can best believe this quad right here where we're standing right here, this place is gonna be filled with people at one point, man. <clears throat> when all the uprisings start going down, let a nigga get killed, let, let someone get killed in a fashion where it, it's, it's distasteful to the people. First thing they're gonna do is gonna come right here to the state house. We demand answers. We want this and we want that. And all the people, the cameras gonna come, and what, more people are gonna flock down here, flock down here, and then Esau's gonna open up. Yep. The military's gonna open up. Yep, that's what's that's gonna happen. Moment. Well, they, like, like we say, they put this shit in these movies for a reason. And if you ain't smart enough to read between the lines, there was, there was, there was this video I saw, this Jake was in the store, you know, this Mexican chick behind the counter. He's going berserk. Fuck you, you ought to speak little bitch. Give my money, bitch. Give my money. He, he going berserk, right? And there was this other Mexican dude off to the side saying, hey, brother, calm oh, down. Yeah, yeah. Calm down, calm down. It's like, yo, fuck you. You ain't know how to speak English. And the dude was like, nah, just calm down. He goes, you wanna go outside? Mexican cat was like, you wanna go outside? Yeah, 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 and they're yeah. like, yeah, let's go out here. Let's go out here. <laughs> this car went out there, turn around. Pow, pow. Oh, they just, yeah. they just ran like a little bitch right back in the store. Where's all that talk at? Where's all that tough guy shit? Yeah. Out the window. Because yep. the nigga brought the equalizer out, right? <laughs> and you can see, you can see, you can see there's a car in the store up and down the aisles like this, looking for the nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This nigga back there, he shot me! He shot me! But again, you know, you, you, you underestimate somebody, man, and, 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 and you just never know. You just never know, man. You just never know. See a bad cat back there reaching. Oh, what you reaching for, brother? Yeah. <laughs> 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 back here reaching. <laughs> All right, let's run it. Let's run it. Revelation two verse ten. Mm -hmm. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Right. Fear none of those things which y'all shall suffer. We're going to suffer some things, man. You know, and we don't know what the Lord has in store for any of us. But we hope and pray that whatever chastisement He gives us, we can bear it. Cause we gonna be we gonna be tested, man. We gonna go through the we gonna go through the fire, man. Go ahead. This is a revelation to her sin. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of your princes, yep. that ye may be tried. Yep. You shall have tribulation ten and days. days. Yep. Be thou faithful unto death, death, and I'll give thee a crown of life. Right. Be thou faithful unto death, man. And at this point, the way and I'm speaking for my soul, you know, speak as a man. At this point, the way I'm feeling, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, whatever, whatever happens, happens, man. We ain't afraid to die over here. You know, a lot of people are trying to preserve their life just because they want to, they don't want to miss out on, on living here in, in Babylon. We serve, we serve to the Lord, man. Let the Lord's will be done. You know? And if we, and if we get put the death on this side, may y'all bust me out, shine, raise us up at the first, man. You know? He won't, he won't push you. So be faithful unto death, man. And who knows? Right when them devils right tried about to take you out, the Lord will, might may deliver you. You know, right when he right right when you think it's, it's over, man, pray to God he might deliver you right out the hand of them devils, man. That's why it says, "Be thou faithful unto death." Go ahead. Uh, Matthew ten verse thirty nine: He that findeth his life shall lose it. Right. And he that, that findeth his life shall lose it. You see. Go ahead. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. Right. When you come into the truth, you lose all this shit, man. You lose everything. You know, you're not you're not that popular guy no more. You know, you ain't that handsome dude that used to you know, attract all the ladies. You grow your beard out, you know, and you look at motherfuckers differently. You know, you ain't you ain't that high valued male anymore. You come into the truth, right? You know. But again, we find we have found our life because we found the truth. And we thank y'all, Bash Me Shy, for bringing us back to the fold, man. You know, as those lost sheep that were running about, running them up. Now we've been brought back into the stable, all right. And now we now we see clearly, and we seek safety and security through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's what we that's what we hear. To, that's what we that's what we hope and pray for that the Lord keeps on protecting us in these last days. Go ahead. I'm gonna go to the comment board. Come. On. I'm a couple. This is Exodus 14 and 14. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. That's right. That's then right. Yeah. And we and we say that, man. We we lay it on the Lord, man. We ain't gonna be doing much talking in that time. When the Lord starts doing this thing, we ain't gonna be doing much talking. Shit, we may not be, we may not even be able to, we may not even be like, yo, we told you so, we told you so. Because shit's gonna be so goddamn crazy and hectic, we might as well be like, yo, that's the truth. That's the Lord right there. I ain't speaking on that. The Lord's gonna, you know, do his thing. All right, go ahead. This is the book of Revelation 3 and 10 from the common board. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation 
which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Right. When that time comes, man, a lot of people are going to take that thing because they're going to be faced with what? A situation where they have no choice. It's because they're going to want to feed their children. They want to, they're going to want to preserve their jobs. The same thing that happened with this whole, this whole uh, C-19. When the C-19 came out, it was, it was putting the screws to everybody. You ain't going to be able to work here no more. You ain't get this. You, can't, you ain't got a mask on. You ain't coming to the establishment. And people said, fuck it. I'm going to do it because I got I to gotta go to work. I got to get the food. I got to put the money on the table, the food on the table. Okay? So when they come out with the MOTB, man, the Lord said he's going to keep us from the hour of temptation. We praise you, Lord, y'all bless me, y'all shy, that he keeps us from that hour, man. Because it's going to sweep across the whole world. Ain't nobody going to be exempt from it. Nobody. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 2 and I'm going to do a um, 10 and read down. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abound in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy long-suffering and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways woe unto him that is faint-hearted for he believeth not therefore shall he not be defended woe unto you that have lost patience and what will you do when the lord shall visit you they that fear the lord will not disobey his word and they that love him will keep his ways see that that's a whole lot there but a lot of it is beautiful because why? You know, trusting in the Lord is all we got, man. Yes, trusting in the Lord is all we got over here. We got, we can't look, I mean, we can't even save ourselves, man. We can't even save ourselves as much as we love this brotherhood and the brothers in, in, in the, throughout the world who are doing this thing in truth and sincerity. We can't save each other. But what we can do is, 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 build, is build up one another and keep one another in, in our prayers and hope that Yahweh Shmael Shai looks at all of us and hears all of our cries and our prayers and saves us and delivers us, man. This is the key things of what's going on around here. Waiting and trusting in Yahweh Shmael Shai. Woe unto them that have lost patience. Many men have lost patience in this thing because things didn't happen fast enough. Going back to... certain men that had that did not lose their patience a lot of men have lost patience during the 2000 reign and, 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 and just walked out the door and turned their back things weren't even hot and heavy then you see so we are we out here being patient and who knows man we don't know we don't know the time we don't know the date but we got to be patient and wait on the Lord man we got to wait on the Lord just like you want somebody to wait for you you up in the crib and you, you know getting your shit together and they down there blowing the horn but you still gotta get your shit you're like yo hold up man I'll right out I'll right out you want them to wait on you right yo you want them to wait on you so we we waiting on you we gonna wait upon your how about me out shot because it's when it's appointed with his his time when the Lord the Heavenly Father wants his time to be done all right so where we at let me come right here Matthews 24 and 45. Uh, who then is a faithful and wise yes, servant who his Lord have made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he shall come, find by so him doing, doing so. That's right. By so doing. Yep. yep. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. Mm -hmm. But if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord, delay his, his coming. coming and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and eat and drunken with the drunken, mm -hmm. the Lord of that service shall come in the day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, mm -hmm. and shall cut him asunder and point him in a portion with the hypocrites, mm -hmm. and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Yep. Yep. It's going, that's going to happen to a lot of people, man. A lot of people are going to think they, they you know, uh, uh, holier than thou, do things according to their will. But the Lord's going to appoint you to that, to that, to that destruction, weeping and gnashing the teeth. You see, that's why this, you got to be very careful when you work with, when you're handling the word of the Lord, man. You got to be very careful. The scriptures tell you that. Go unto he that doeth do the work of the Lord deceitfully. You see, the Lord will definitely appoint your 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 lot to the hypocrites to be destroyed, man. 
So when you come out and you do the work, you gotta be sincere, man. You truly gotta be sincere. You know, and not try to mislead people or give people wrong information purposely. You know, you got men out there talking about you don't have to know the name of the Lord. So this cat pulled me to pull me aside this morning, right? And this one is one of the local dudes. He be coming around, you know, kind of give him a little air, you know, a little bit. But he said to me, he was on the train and uh, he was doing the Lord's work. So he came across, there, was, there was a situation, he came across this dude. And he asked the dude if he had the Lord in his heart. And the dude said, yeah, I got the Lord in my heart. And he said, I said to the dude, what was the Lord's name? He said, he didn't know. He goes, well, if you don't know the Lord's name, then you don't have the Lord in your heart. Something to that effect. Which which, which kind of rang in my, my head. I was like, well, he kind of rang. You know, you, you people profess that you know the Lord, the Lord's in your heart. And you, you know, the Lord is your Lord, your personal Lord and Savior, but you don't even know his name. You know? How important it is to know the name of the Lord. It's yeah. very important. How are you going to call upon somebody you don't know his name? You see? That's why this world got to be destroyed, man. Because the teachings of this world is, is, is the teachings of it's the teachings of death, I'm going to say. Everything that this world has to offer you is nothing but a platter of death, man. Walking you down the path of destruction. Go ahead. Uh, Hosea 4 verse 1. In the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Mm -hmm. Because there is no truth, no mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. Mm -hmm. You give me John 13 and 14. Yep. There's no knowledge of the Lord in this land. There's no knowledge whatsoever. You see? Just, just by... Just by the way people view the Bible, you know, they know there's there's no reverence to the Bible. Period, man. It's just a, a book that's written by the so-called white man, a book of fairy fairy tales. A whole bunch of madness. Go ahead. This is John 13 and 14. It says, "If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed their feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet." Mm -hmm. That's right. We take care of one another. We pray for one another. We watch out for one another. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. We're all we have, man. We say it all the time, but it stands true. We are all we have. You ain't going to be able to go out and have a conversation about America being destroyed with anybody outside of this truth, man. They're not going to understand you. You ain't going to be able to go out and tell a, a, a man in the world that, yeah, you're going to bash your enemy's children against the stones. They're going to be like, this nigga crazy. So this is how, again, how we also take care of one another, being able to talk to one another and understand one another, especially when the brother's down in the spirit. You ain't going to be able to talk to nobody in the spirit, spiritually, because they're not going to understand spiritual things, man. Natural man receives a lot of things of the spirit. One thing, Elder, like our people, the indoctrination is real. Mm -hmm. My friend called me Saturday, and I just wanted to test him. I said, so if your brother came to you and he became a transformer, I ain't gonna say the term. Right, right, right. And I was like, and he said, you know what, bro, I'm this now. And he was like, I mean, if my brother is that, then I have to accept him as that. And I was like, and I was just mad because like, this is a dude that I grew up with. We did certain things together. Mm -hmm. You know, we was in the streets together, all that. And I'm just like, huh? I would expect him to be like, hell no, I'll accept him as that. You know what I'm saying? But he was just like, I mean, because there's a difference between gender and sex. See, sex is, I was just like, yeah. So that's when I realized, like, our people is just gone. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Even, even, that, even that conversation, like, you can't even. Yeah, he's like. <laughs> he's like, yeah, all right. All right, man, Go that you know. way. Go that way. Yeah, yeah, all right. Man, <laughs> you know. like, Again. I ended up having to hang up, and I was like, I, I ain't gonna lie, like, of course, I, he's in Ohio, of course, but it's like, I grew up with the dude, I know he's eight years old, uh -huh. he called me sometimes, for me to even hung up on him, that actually hurt my heart a little bit, because like, I, but I was like, I can't do that, man, it's like, yeah. he, he going too far with it now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, like, he's going too far. Far. you can't, you guys aren't going to agree on anything yeah, concerning yeah. this Bible, man, you know, and he's not going to believe in the Bible, yeah. you know, so, that's that. No, no, you just you ain't gonna be able to fellowship with a nigga in the world no more. I mean, if you gonna come down and say, "Hey, yo, what's going on, my man? Yo, how's your mom? Everybody, everybody's good. Everybody's good." You know, that, that, that's pretty much the extent. Yep, yep. That's 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 about it. Yep. You know, because you gonna sit there and be like, "Yo, what's wrong with you, bro?" 
yeah, the so-called white man, he's always fucking poisoning all the food and this devil gotta go, man. He's like, <laughs> crazy. You know, I'm like, yo, what you talking about, man? You're tripping. Yo, meanwhile, you eating a hot dog. Talk about, what you talking about, man? You know? But, but again, again, this brotherhood and, and, and this thing of ours is only meant for us. It ain't meant for everybody in the world. And there's even men that have been a part of this thing that have left this thing and it wasn't meant for them. Yeah. You know, they returned back into the world. They went back to the, the worldly things, you know, and forsook the Bible and forsook the Lord. You didn't forsook the men that you was with. You forsook the Lord, man. Yeah. And that's the problem. That's the problem. People don't realize. You know, it's not about us. You know, we still going to be uh, uh, subjected to hell on earth. We're going to be subjected to ridicule and all kinds of, you know, shit talking. But you didn't turn on us. You turned on the Lord. And that's the big mistake right there. Go ahead. I got Psalms 433. That's perfect. It's a how, behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. That's right. It is like the precious ointment up on the head that run down the beard of even Aaron's beard, beard that went down to the skirt of his garment, yep. as the dew of Hermon and as the dew that descended upon the mountain of Zion. Yep. For there the Lord Yahweh shall shine coming into the blessing, even I. That's right. See that? So we dwell together in brethren, man. You guys, brothers, don't realize, man, the love we have for one another. And it's beautiful because we don't get to see one another on a daily basis. We come down, I see brothers, be like, yo, that's, that's my man right there, you know? But that's the spirit, you know? And now that the Lord has brought this particular camp together the way he brought us together, every single one of us were together back in the ancient times. That's what I believe through the spirit. Because the, the connections that we have, even when this brother came, he came down from Ohio. You know? He, he was a this brother was out of control when he first came here. But the Lord settled that brother's spirit down. Now the brothers, you know, he's balanced out. But again, we was always together at some point in time, man. Throughout 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 the ancient times. You know, and it's a beautiful thing. You know, we met some of the head apostles and elders and bishops out in New York. When you got around them, brothers, it was like a reunion, man. It was a quick, it was like, oh, what's going on, Shalom, on, brother? You know? And that just goes to show you the testament of the Lord, how when he brought us back together, back to the fold, back to the stable, we all we all once knew this anyway. That's right. You know? So there it is, man. There it is. We've all been here before. We've all met each other before. We, we ain't strangers, brothers. That's remembrance. That's, that's it. We've been brought back to remembrance. We ain't strangers amongst one another, you know. And the more, and then when you, and then when, and then when the names, the brothers' names, you know, when brothers get your Hebrew name, it is so fitting. It is so fitting, man. It's like, damn, that brother's that, that, that brother's name that, is fitting, you know. And that's a blessing in itself, man. This brother Yakalom, he behind the camera, you know. That brother uh, uh, Zion named that brother, right? And that's a brother Yakalum with dreamer, he dreams, you know? And that's exactly what this brother be doing, man. This brother be having all types of dreams, man. Got his journal going, you know, he'll he'll put up his, his videos every now and then with the with the dreams. But I have a dream, everybody go Right, right. Hey brother get nervous. The boss said he said, you reckless, you reckless. You know, but but again, you know, it's all through the spirit, man. It's all through the spirit of God. Omen known, name prediction. You know? Anybody got anything else? A lot of see you over here. I see you over here. Tapping away over here. <laughs> oh, okay, we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna end it on this one here, brothers. Ecclesiastes 2 verse 15. That which had been is now, yep. and that which to be had already yeah. been, and the most I require that which is past. That's right, and the most I require that which is past. So the past is very important. You may hear people talk about or say, oh, you guys, you guys are drawn in the past. You guys are dead. That, that happened. How many years ago did it happen? Well, the scripture says, the most high required that which is past. These things are important, man. The past, the past is going to understand, you're going to understand the present by what was written aforetime. We understand that the Lord said we're going to be raised up and be out there on the highways and byways doing our thing, man. And here we are. We did it in the ancient times. Is that Jeremiah? Yep, yep, yep. yep. We did it in the ancient times, and we're doing it this time. Yep. Uh, 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 
I like to say, you know, we did it in the ancient times, meaning what? We was back there walking with Yahweh Shah, you know, and going back even further to the first fruits, creating the heavens and the earth, man. Creating the heavens and the earth. You have ears to hear, let them hear. You know, we ain't boasting and bragging about it. We're, we're servants in this kingdom, all right? We're servants in this kingdom. You know, the servant's not accepted in his own. So therefore, when we come out on the highways and byways, we're not looking to be accepted by anybody out here. We're not looking for anybody to raise us up or praise us and give us, oh, great job. No, we ain't looking for any of that. We want to we want to please your heart while me out shy. It's fucking freezing out here right now. And the only, only, only ears we're looking to please are your heart washed me out shy. And the brothers and sisters who listen, receive it. All praise due to Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai for giving you the ability to understand and hear these words that we speak, man. Because it's not our Lord, it's not our words that we're speaking, it's the Lord's words. You see? Uh, anybody, anybody else got anything else? I was gonna mention real quick. Yeah, go ahead, you brother. Mention about the first fruits, the you know, Cunt. creation of the earth. Cunt. Those same people are back here today with the elect. That's they it. care for the earth, so that's why they signed and cried for the abomination that was done in the earth. That's exactly right, brother. That's it. You know. And we, and we look we look around, you know, sometimes you see the fucking animals, they're suffering. Mm -hmm. Fucking trees are withered down to nothing. The earth, the, they're supposed to be a land Sabbath. The earth, the, the, the soil is goddamn obliterated. The, the soil so fucked up, you can't even grow shit in the soil no more, man. You saw I gotta put all kinds of chemicals and all kinds of shit in the ground, you know? But the Lord's gonna restore all these things, man. That's right, sir. The Lord's gonna restore all of us back to our, our natural, you know, our natural, you know, state, if you will. Being strong men, being mighty men. You know? Go ahead. You know the Revelation 12 and 12. Come on. Like simultaneously it's saying, rejoice you heavens, mm -hmm. the devil coming down you with great wrath, showing you that after this trouble, mm -hmm. the, the, um, the world can go back to paradise. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course, absolutely. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> our children are gonna be our children will be out there playing with wild beasts of the field like you know like a ball of yarn you know just batting them around and shit doing whatever whatever but this is what it's all gonna be but we still got a battle before us we still got held we still got hell to go through so we ain't gonna sit here and talk about the the, the plenteous that the lord has set aside for us because we're gonna we're gonna get sidetracked let it be known that we are we are right on the cusp of the time of Jacob's trouble. And that time of Jacob's trouble is not going to be no joke, man. Sure. Can we say so that we know for a certain? Yes, we can say because the Lord said it, man. Sure. And we believe the word of the Lord. We trust in the word of the Lord. We have faith in the word of the Lord. And all that being said, that makes us men of the, men of the Lord. You got something? One more. Go ahead, bust it down, brother. Acts 14, verse 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples mm -hmm. and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Mm -hmm. And that we must, through much tribulation, right. enter into the kingdom of the Most High. That's perfect. Through much tribulation. So this ain't going to be no walk in the park, man. We ain't going to just, you know, the Lord's going to come here and throw down the missiles and we're going to be like, just, hey, no, we, we fighting for this thing, man. We got to fight, man. We're through much tribulation. However that tribulation is going to come, man. We hope and pray that the Lord just protects us in all types of things, whatever, whatever tribulation he has set forth for us, man. All right? You got something over there on the right, brother? No. Okay, you good? Yes, good enough. Brother's good? All right, con, con. So we're going, we're going to wrap it up there. Got a couple hours in. Get the brothers home. It's freezing out this bad boy. So with all that, we're going to give all praises to... Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Kakadash. Double honors and head of the great millstone that rule well, and the bishops and elders. You know, Shalom, two brothers in the highways and byways, doing the work sincerely and faithfully and continually fighting a good fight of faith. Lord willing, again, we hope we're finding that number to be delivered to see the downfall of our enemies and rejoice at the fall of all those who have come up against us. And right that, with that, we're going to say, Come your swallow! 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 Come your swall